that's all. <laughs> Step <laughs> your game up. Now, uh, let's get into it. As always, we were brought to you by friends at Jezebel's, 4520 East 47th Street South in Wichita, Kansas. Jezebel.com also, uh, they just keep rolling and they and, and make well, the Wall Street Journal, by the way, our online version again, especially free week offer, jwire.com. Dot com slash Gimpy Goose. Uh, 100 buttons for 15 bucks. You can't shake a stick at it. We tried. We had Jared stick it, shake a stick at it, and he ate it. I don't know why. But um, also the PC Tech Rescue 302-261-5397. Uh, Joel Mahalik is the official webmaster of GeekJaguar.com. And uh, follow us on Twitter. It's Jiggy Jaguar. And uh, let's see, what else have I got? Uh, vote in the poll uh, at JiggyJaguar.com. Also, go to YouTube.com slash JiggyJaguar and watch the latest Bruce video. Um, he says he's going to go home and yell at the radio. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's let's jump into it real quick. Let, let's get my man F.A. in here. You want to step out for a second, brother? Let my brother in here. Jump in there, F.A. What's good? Mr. Man, Mr. Myth, Mr. Legend. Uh, you should have a mic somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right there, right there. I'm not organized today. Anyway. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> now, uh, you have come on this like this this hip hop scene and like scared a lot of people. <laughs> what the hell's going on here, brother? It, is, is it the French and English thing that scares people? I really don't know. I mean, I never heard of anything like that. I don't think I'm scared of anybody. You know what I'm saying? I just do my thing and uh, shit, showing love to everybody, man. I just hope I, live, uh, I get the love back. That's what it is. Now, uh, when did you start doing the hip hop thing, man? Um, well, I started to write when I was about 15. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, now I actually started to do uh, drop mixtapes only last year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was about just one, one, two years in the game. Wow. You know wow. You've accomplished a hell of a lot. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> your website is the is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> did you do that all yourself or did no, you, you no, outsource that? Um, shout out to my boy Dan. I'm saying he's a graphic designer. You know what I'm saying? He took yeah. care of everything. Did the whole thing. So I'll tell you, man, that, that is that is kick ass. <laughs> pictures to the graphics to everything, man. Nice. That is that is kick ass. Now uh how did you get involved doing hip hop, and then what made you say, "I know French and I know English. I'm gonna rap them both of them." <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I was really listening to hip hop music since I was like ten. Yeah, you know I've been influenced by everything. And French rap exists long, long time ago. A lot of people, yeah, know everybody down here, but it's been it's been out. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was also influenced by whatever was going on here. So I just I just felt like bringing something different to the table. Because, together. because you just you just are uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the feedback I, I get from people who have either seen you on the Cypher show, right. heard your music on the internet, uh, seen your interviews, anything, people are just blown away by you. So, is is are you doing this all on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, you, are you making people? Are you just making art? Is, is there, was, did you have this plan? <laughs> hey, I didn't plan anything. You know, I'm just doing me. You know, do what I love to do, and you know, I'm just, I'm just glad to you know get this response. You know, I, I'll tell you, right, man. And and Bruce. by the way, FA's appearance here on the world famous Chicken Jaguar you show, brought to you by our good friends at Flash Bandit Universe, Flash Bandit yes. Clothing. Uh, my God, you you've been you've been just tearing up Wichita like, like crazy <laughs> lately. I just I, I you know the it's a, and the one thing that I gotta say, you know, uh, when I first came out, you know, with the first mixtape and everything, yeah. I don't honestly didn't think I was gonna get this much love from people. You know, I was thinking, well, I'm not from here. I do something so different. People might be like, ah, oh, man, we're, you know, we're not messing with this. It's just some who's that same thing. That's what I was thinking. That's you know, when I first came out. And you know, I'm just I'm just glad that everybody shows love and uh, you know like what I do. So yeah, I just want to thank you. Because I'll tell you, man, you 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 are. Or making people turn their heads. <laughs> you know, they, they, they always talk about books. Oh, it's a page turner. You're a head turner. People <laughs> are like, what? Nice, nice. Now, uh, tell, tell me about this, uh, and I'm going to butcher this, just because I'm white. Yeah. But, uh, Flows, Flow You Nation, the new mixtape. Oh, Fluctuation. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do, man. It's right here. You know, I got four copies. Look at that 
catch it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, Mr. Marketing. Pretty much what it is, you know, I just feel He's like... He's went to the cash hall for school of marketing. <laughs> <laughs> was at, it's just a combination of, you know, the workflow and the oh, situation. Yeah. Uh, pretty much the idea on the mixtape is that I just switch flows so easily, you know, from one yeah. beat to another, rap about different things, and, you know, it's just 18 tracks, and they all sound pretty different, so that was the idea on the mixtape, that's why. Now, uh, you, you just, uh, man, uh, just... Uh, Coming out of the, uh, who, who did this cover art for this thing? This this this, oh, this yeah. fluctuation, man. I got, I got two two sent me this picture, and, and I'm looking at it there. And it looks it looks better on there than it does on my computer screen. But uh, <laughs> that's just because I got a, a piece of crap monitor I'm not from Access. But the thing is, uh, <laughs> who who designed this this cover it's, for it's, you? It's a friend of mine that just started a new uh, company, dot com agency, and. Uh, they they back they actually in Paris, France. You know what I'm saying? They took care of the whole design. And, you know, it's incredible, man. And they, I was surprised when I seen it myself. That, nice that, that's cool. That's cool, brother. Now, now tell me about this uh, the, this track we're gonna hear. What's my name? Oh uh, yeah. Jay Money's on this one. Yeah, yeah, Jay Money produced the track. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's a producer back in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. You know, he's also from Gallery Coast, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, he produced the track. All you guys, way. all you guys, just hang out together. That, 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 that is, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're thicker than thieves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I work with everybody, but you know, sometimes it's fun also to work with somebody that kind of understands yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah, you got the same idea, so so we're working together right now. And um, yeah, on this track, I'm just pretty, pretty much telling them who I am, my name, and that's what it is. Yeah. Well, here it is. It's what's my name. It's F A. Uh, if if you are yeah. not, if you are not. Listening to this, or you don't know who this guy is, go crawl back into that rock you crawled out from under. <laughs> Here it is on a world famous Chicky Chick Water Show. <laughs> I've been getting requests from the Czech Republic. We want to hear you on the show. Oh, yeah, Mike's around. Uh, the Czech Republic. When I announced you were going to be on the show, and all my Twitter followers and all that crap. We have this odd, this odd following on some of this stuff where people, like, that's like live next week. We're having this. There's this. There's this local Latina rapper chick named Little Pachuca, and people love this chick. They think she's the greatest thing in the world. And I'm getting people from the Czech Republic. And hey, what's up? <laughs> Uh, hold on a sec. Let me hand you over to Kate, Case real quick. He's trying to figure out how to get here. <laughs> we got we got Case Delamino as our uh, our uh, our official our official staff uh, uh, direction guy. <laughs> Fuck Matt Quest. We got the real hood <laughs> But yeah, we have we. I got this odd following, and like I said, the Czech Republic. They found out you were on. I'm getting these emails from people. They're like, "Oh, hey, we've heard of this guy." Blah, blah, blah. That's what's up, man. You know, I'm going on the website. It's just crazy. You know, all this. I mean, people from from other places like across the world. Now I'm checking the website. It's crazy. India, China, you know, that's gonna be like. How do you even hear about it? <laughs> you know, that's what you get when you're on the internet. Man. When I first started doing internet radio, I had a huge following in Europe. And I actually thought about just packing up movie and fuck it. <laughs> and then I thought, no, all their plugins are on. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's. And I just love the way that, like, and, and, and you did this at the Cypher Show, and you, you did that there on that. The way, like, the beat will kind of fade out or stop, and then you wait, and then you jump right in. That's great, brother. Back here on the world famous Jiggy Jigway show at www.jiggyjigway.com. I'm, of course, Jigman Freud, the master debater, the cunning linguist, the admiral of alliteration. Uh, 
Where's my actual list? I've got a list. I just memorized those. Uh, the Psycho Perfect from Hell. That's, that's, that's my favorite. I had somebody call me that in a, uh, on a, um, uh, a YouTube video. They were like, I know this guy. He's a Psycho Perfect from Hell. Keeper. <laughs> Keep the that one. Now, uh... Like I was telling you earlier when we were listening to that last track, the people in the Czech Republic love you. <laughs> what the true. hell is going on here? I, I announced <laughs> that we're having certain hip-hop guys on, and people just fly in with crap. I'm just like, what? That's crazy. I, I don't think I know anybody there. <laughs> you know, I... You man, hope. It's just crazy. <laughs> I, I, man, I appreciate you. I, I just... Uh, my God. It's, it's a hell of a deal, dude. It's yeah, the internet. People love the internet. Yeah, definitely. I got mean, <laughs> seen, man, before I even got on the local scene. Uh, in a, so it was something big already because I was getting yeah. more than a thousand downloads on the mix thing yeah. in the first two weeks. So, you know, it's pretty crazy already. Like on, on the net, you can do so much, so much more, you know what I mean? And, uh, but it's, it's great to have them, to have a good fan base that, that's with you, you see you perform and all that stuff. So, yeah. you know, I just love doing that. So. Now, uh, t tell me about this, uh, this Rock Island Live gig on June 10th. Oh, yeah. Uh, my homeboy, Stan Boy, who had his song on the radio, probably had a nine about uh, a couple months ago. <laughs> How much did he have to pay Greg Williams to do that? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, my All God. I know, you know, from what I heard, you know, he loved the song and he played it. <laughs> uh, so, Stan Boy's going to have a show on Rockstar Thursday. Uh, shout out to the big homie not. You know what I mean? And uh, I'll be joining them on stage. But I also have a show myself uh, on June 18th at yeah. Freedas. You know I mean? Rebellion is going to be there. You know, and my boy Jadam is a regular artist. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so it's going to go down, man. Now, uh, this, uh, just, just, just this, the stuff that, that I've heard, and uh, the first time you did the rap where you went from English to French. I like the fact that on the Cypher show they have subtitles. I think oh, that is yeah. a, that is a really cool right. idea. <laughs> because, because, by the way, I have no budget. There will be no subtitles here later when he does his, <laughs> yeah, he does his freestyle. <laughs> but, <laughs> I got people pulling up. I'm getting ready to get assassinated. I don't know. Maybe it's people from the Czech Republic. I'm going to get an autograph. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, <laughs> tell me about this, uh, the, 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 this next track, The Businessman. Oh yeah, that's uh, that actually came out on my first mixtape uh, called Out Around My Lane last year, and uh, it was one of just one of people's favorite. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because I also go, you know, I was uh, graduated from business business school and everything, yeah. so I just gotta tell like, tell people I handle my own stuff. You know, I, don't I will have to say that that is the, the, the money, that you know? that is that is the cash. I'm, I'm gonna call it right now the cash holistization of the hip hop world, <laughs> and that is. All I remember, like years ago, the hip hop guys, the rappers, they were just like they wanted to smoke blunts, they wanted to, they wanted to drink, they wanted to have mixtapes, but they didn't understand marketing. Right. And all That's of a sudden, cool. all you motherfuckers are educated, yeah, and you're yeah. all, and, and it's like when you say get money, uh, literally, uh, you're getting money. <laughs> so you, it's, you're hearing so many stories right just, now of a lot of guys that you know. As soon as they hear about getting signed, they're really like, oh, okay, so they don't care what, what kind of money they're about oh, to get. Yeah. They don't know about how much percentage they're going to get on the money. But they're just ready for a deal. Yeah. They just want to be on TV. Well, it's not about the fame, but you got to understand the numbers. Well, that, that's like I remember uh, Metallica years ago said something about how we don't make any money at all unless we're on tour. And I'm like, wow, somebody didn't get educated, did they? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Somebody did not get educated before they pulled something off. And now all of a sudden, you guys are going to business school and you guys Jeez, are fucking, man, we, you yeah, make it. Man. Oh my <laughs> God, this <laughs> is great. Just, you know, well, uh, let's get into it right now, the businessman, F.A. Uh, can they get this on uh, the, the new, the, the disc? Or? Yeah, I, that, the, um, my or first disc is still out there for download. You can get it on the website. Uh, www.mrbotlinger.com I'm saying if you go out there you can download the whole mixing. That was the first mixing, so you can definitely get that track. Here we go, the business band. And uh, we want to thank our good friends at Flash Band at Universe for uh, uh, helping bring him to the show today. Because without them, I wouldn't have this cool shirt, and I wouldn't have guests. Believe me.
I don't need to worry about having any guests. <laughs> we, Mr. Dot Com a couple weeks ago said, there's guys falling on top of each other trying to get to your radio show. So, uh, <laughs> hey, the business man here on a world famous TV show. But yeah, literally. But he, he, he was telling me, he goes, he goes, there's niggas on top of niggas falling trying to get to your show. <laughs> okay. Is he, uh, is that going to be on the radio I think he's going to be on the radio What's up, yo? How are you? <laughs> I think everybody and their brother is, and, and, and I think today is like police pay. Because the police came to the house earlier. Because somebody downstairs did something and they thought it was up here. I'm like, okay. And then I hear from a bunch of different people. Oh, I got pulled over by the cops on the way here. I'm like, if you haven't had any issue with the police today, <laughs> remember this. Including you, Ninja Larry. They're going to get you with that bike plane. I know they're going to. <laughs> You're gonna be hauling all these cameras home later. They're gonna be like, "Son, what are you doing?" But yeah, the, the whole business training thing I think is great. It's all you guys. And the ones that aren't going to college for business training are hooking up with people who have went to college for business training. At least, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to know somebody that you can trust, like an industry. You know what I'm saying? Industry is crazy. I'm not even in this, but I read it. You're When they say internet radio, they're talking about Jiggy Jang. When they say guys who rap in other languages, they're talking about <laughs> You're telling me about the dude in Phoenix. What 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 does he do? What, is he a French? Oh, uh, uh, it's uh, it's an old rapper. He's back yeah. in France. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, from what I heard, you know what I'm saying? He raps in both languages too. You know? well, that's I heard cool. a couple songs. I mean, that's good. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Well, now you know at least. At least you don't have the patent on this whole thing. At least there's other people. Right. You could, you could always say, you, you could always get an ego like me and say, he stole your idea. <laughs> but, uh, we don't know that. You know, I'm not going to, you know, I can't come out here right now and say, hey, I'll start it first. <laughs> F.A., by the way, here on the World Famous Chicken Jake Boy Show. Flash Bandit Clothing, Flash Bandit Universe.com, uh, sponsoring his uh, little, little trek here today. And uh, we want to thank... Uh, and the gang over at ICTHipHop.com for making this possible today. And, uh, uh, explain, explain to me uh, this accent. It, is, did you did, did you learn English second? Is yeah, that I learned English second. Okay. You know, French is my first language. And that's what we speak about. Yeah. You know, and, uh, I started to learn English when I was about nine. And, uh, that's what. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I, what was it? The, uh, and I'm going to probably butcher this. But uh, the uh, the line you said at the cypher show, if you don't like the act of this accident, oh, like so these funny. nuts or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I said, I'm handling my business, and if you don't like my accent, you can come and lick these nuts. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. There's now, always uh, going to be some people out there hate, so. Well, yeah, that's a, right. a, a, eventually, <laughs> eventually they're, they're, they're drinking. What is it, Larry? The haterade? I think is what yeah, they call it. That's what all the cool kids are doing these days. <laughs> I'm not a cool. I'm not cool, and I'm not a kid. So we uh, 
<laughs> now, uh, live your life is the next track we're going to hear from you, brother. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, this sir, one. who walked in behind <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> tell me, to Tell me about this. I've, I've, I've been hearing, there, we've been getting a lot of emails and stuff from people saying that they love this thing. So, uh, yeah, is it out there on the internet for people to freely get a hold of, or is... Uh, this one, no, you probably can't download it. How the hell are these people getting a hold of this? I mean, right now the music is only on the local scene. You know, you got a yeah. CD, uh, come out shows and everything. We're trying to push it to the market in a bit. And uh, it should be on the, on the internet in a couple like months. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get it out there. Yeah, text like crazy. Yeah. People, are, people are fucking responding to you, brother. Nice, wow, nice. I'm getting texts, <laughs> I'm getting Twitter, and I'm. Or is it nice. tweeted? Why am I asking Ninja Larry? He don't know that about Twitter. He barely gets Facebook. The, uh, <laughs> but uh, so uh, so so live your life. Just a just a hot just a hot track that they get yeah, on man, this uh, the, the chorus on there is in French. You know what I'm saying? My verse is in English. So. Wow. Yeah, let's go. No no subtitles. <laughs> Here we go. It's on the world famous Jiggy Jakeway show. Check us out www.jiggyjaguar.com also uh, youtube.com slash jiggyjaguar for the latest Bruce video he's going to go home and yell at the radio he might be yelling at the radio because F.A. is on the radio right now I still don't understand what Bruce meant by going home and yelling at the radio but yeah that, that's the thing I think is great about all you hip hop guys now is your I wrote a column a couple weeks ago talking about the fact that you know, you guys get it. You get the whole internet thing where you gotta have the Twitter and the Facebook and MySpace. You gotta have a website. I've been dealing with all these rock guys for like four or five years. And all they want to do is get drunk and play rock and roll. <laughs> we got some t-shirts for sale, man. You guys literally have everything for sale. <laughs> Or, or my favorite is, is, is the, uh, uh, there was a show three months ago, maybe, at, at Oakdale Park here in, here in Salina, and it was a bunch of rock guys, and it was the cool guys, you know, you know what I'm saying, they're just screaming. They didn't get paid. And, um, thank you, sir, you, 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 were, you were better than Matt Quest. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, they weren't getting paid. They had traveled from Michigan to get here. And they kept telling the five people that were in the crowd, hey, we've got tip jars up here. We need to get to fucking Mexico tomorrow or New Mexico or wherever the fuck they were headed. And I'm like thinking, you hip-hop guys would never do a show like that. You would be like, I gotta get paid up front or we gotta charge or I gotta get paid somehow. Because I got here, I gotta get back to where I'm going. And these rock guys are just like, buy some fucking merch, man. I need some gas for my car. I've never heard that in a hip hop show. I hear you guys go, well, we got mixtapes for sale, but you guys are never up there begging. Oh, God, I gotta fucking feed myself today. No, you made sure you got paid before the show even started. <laughs> You know, because I've been getting my share of negative emails from people that are like, what are you doing, hip-hop guys? <laughs> oh, I don't know, because they get it. We keep it real. See, I was writing a little verse on my way here. Oh, well, well I've got, I've got, have I have you a beat. beat. Ready to go, sir. <laughs> so we gotta get it going. You are here? Uh, that is insane. That, uh, that's very much into life here. Uh, you're right. Yeah, I'm doing that. How do you say it? What is it like? Yeah, I'm just doing it. 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 Yeah, I'm I'll tell you, you're continuing to amaze even the people in our studio that are here that are here to do promotion or otherwise. FA with us, live your life here on the world famous Chicky Jagway show at www.chickyjagway.com. The winner 
of the James Love Excellence in Broadcasting Award for five years in a row. Yes, indeed. James J. J. I, I, I won that award five years in a row. It's amazing. Uh, Ed Baldwin's favorite, favorite cable access host. Uh, I used to be Danny Havel's favorite radio broadcaster, but we don't know where Danny Havel went. I think he's, he's buried somewhere. Um, we want to thank our good friends at Flash Bandit Universe. FlashBanditUniverse.com, Flash Bandit Clothing, FA with us. Uh, also, I want to thank our good friends at Skype. Call normal phones through the computer anywhere in the world with low rates. And uh, Jiggy Jaguar merchandise is available on the website at JiggyJaguar.com. Uh, dog t shirts, apparently. Larry bought one, I don't know why. Uh, we, we've got t shirts, hats, buttons, all that crap. Bumper stickers, u- usual stuff. Uh, I don't have a mixtape out. Which God, <laughs> God help us if I ever put one out. <laughs> and uh, just, just the usual. Just <laughs> no. Now, now, you you are amazing people. Like I said, literally here in our studio with your French and English thing. You got to bottle this and sell it. <laughs> I just. That's why we created the brand, man. This the bottle you can watch. It's going to be a brand. You gotta open trade schools. Something. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I hate to copyright it right now. Oh shoot, I just told him it's not copyright. I'm probably gonna try to use it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, and, and the one thing I like about, uh, especially with, with you, brother, is that you collaborate with all sorts of different people you're bringing, all sorts of different people and you do stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, why is networking so important to you? Well, it is. I mean, Really, uh, we're not we're not doing collaborations with uh, anybody else. The point really is just because I, I'm I'm just curious. You know, as an yeah. artist, when you do something that I don't do, you know, I want to work with you. If, yeah. If I'm feeling like you got something special, I'm gonna try to see where me and you can you know get on the common ground and do something together. So that's just the reason why I really try to feature everybody and, and do some stuff. At the same time, networking is important. I mean, you you got you got your own fan base. They, they got their own stuff going on. If you do that, you might be able to you know, show your music to everybody else out there. Yeah. You might be able to do the same with you. So it's just like an exchange. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's good. Well, hey, uh, I'm going to let you get out of here. But before I let you go, uh, as always, I have to have you freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, like I say, man, that's how much I care about your radio show. You know, I, well, I thank wrote you, a little sir. something on my, on my way here. You know what I'm saying? He's got to pull up on his phone. That's yeah, right. that's how you do it now. Yeah? <laughs> you don't feel like it no more. Let me see if I can. Okay. Yeah. Sport FA. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. Except A on Jig Jack, so sit back and relax Yes, cause I speak crack, the beat nice, I eat that Tell me, can you beat that? Can you really think fast? To use two dollars, make music, then bring cash flow So hot, you see the melting of a six pack My rhymes bullets in my mouth, go free clack Rappers, I line them up, and I shoot them all And if they girls look nice, well, I'ma hit that Not only do I rap, I make beats, and I'm intelligent Handle my own business, and still stay relevant American, niggas try to hate cause I'm African But they know I'm the shit, it's no about the oxygen, don't ask again, it's F dot, A dot, Mr. Bilingual, voice on your radio, so please stop the hating, we all know your girls in the room with my picture masturbating, damn. Y'a rien pour changer le rap, si le bas marque, tes rimes sont pas mal Mais le message banal des punchlines, difficile à trouver comme ça marque, on s'en bat, les gueules ferment ta gueule avant qu'on m'en parle, yeah. Remember, no subtitles. Yeah, f- f- feel free, feel free to give this man some reaction, folks. Wow! Holy yeah. shit! Is it, yeah, it's your boy F A, Mr. Bollinger, once again. <laughs> Make sure you check me out on MrBollinger.com. Twitter slash Mr. Bollinger. I love it. I don't know what he's saying, but I think it's hot. He's random all that Oh, you, you, you are, uh, nice. you, you, I think, I think if, uh, I think if you work hard, you probably sold a whole bunch of mixtapes here today to our audience. Appreciate it, y'all. The mixtape is right here, man, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you cop it. Feel me? Yeah. Well, hey, brother, uh, run it down. Uh, big show's coming up. You got June 10th. June, June 10th, my homeboy stand. At the same time, uh, June 18th. 
You know what I'm saying? I got my short Fritas. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so I go down, man. Make sure you come through. More information to come up. Well, my friend, thank you for doing this. And uh, sure, thank you for having and, uh, me. I appreciate it. And uh, All right. well, we will definitely see you later, bro. F.A. of the world famous Cheeky Jake Whitey Show. He's going to uh, pass the mic to somebody. Who the hell knows? we got a house full of people, as always. <laughs> it is the Cheeky Jake Whitey well, Show. F.A. in the building. I'll tell you, he is, uh, he is, uh, follow that. <laughs> you better learn a language real quick. Because <laughs> you better follow that. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, man, that's a hell of a deal. My God. Jeez. <laughs> Where does that come from? All right, bro. Hey, well, we're gonna we're gonna take a uh, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick little time out when we come back. We've got more here in the world famous Cheeky Jake. Rich. <laughs> cool I told you it was a quick break. Uh, <laughs> we're back here on the world famous Cheeky Jake Way Show. www.jakeyjakeway.com. Of course, we want to thank our good friends at GiveMeGoose.com. Or myspace.com slash give me goose or good friends at Adam and Eve. Get three free when you buy one on any adult DVDs. And our good friends at Blockbuster Total Access. Over 80,000 titles, free in store exchanges and online rentals. No late fee, free shipping, and 50% off your first month. Forget about these red boxes. Because guess what? They are not giving me sponsorship money. <laughs> um, we, got, <laughs> we got my man with us in studio, real hood wide, kicking ass, taking names. Um, we're gonna be talking to the to the. Uh, he's better than Map Quest. We'll be talking to him a little bit later here on the world famous Chicky Jake Boy Show. And uh, uh, we we we've got a we got a big contest coming up. My brother, jump in there. What, what, what what's going on, man? You you just you just camp out here, don't you? Yeah. You live a block away from me, and, and so you're just here every Sunday hanging out. You know how we do it. Now, uh, uh, you just got done doing a doing a pretty big show with uh, Nut the Kid and all of them out yeah, there at the Blue Ghost. Yeah, my nigga Nut the Kid, my straight gutter nigga, this is the real little wife for show, you know what it is, man. Yeah, we smashed that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we had that motherfucker real right in there, dog. <laughs> P Flames was kind of was kind of giving me a, a little bit of a uh, little bit of jazz on it. Oh, I just showed how white I am. A little bit of jazz. Um, <laughs> Uh, wow. just, uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> at, at, at some point, you know, John Belushi or somebody will come in here and, and do something. Yeah, I thought he was. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Apparently, I'm getting a golf clap. That's crazy, man. But um, the uh, the uh, the thing is, brother, you, you, P Flames give me a little jazz on a uh, nut the kid's name. Uh, I think they just were jealous they didn't have a cool name like you did. Yeah, that's all that <laughs> It's all good, though. I love those hey, guys. Man, cool. <laughs> now, uh, uh, we're, we're going uh, to slide the whole, the whole damn crew in here as soon as we can. We got, uh, Jesus Christ, we got, we got people lined up like fucking crazy. People twittering, people doing all this stuff. Yeah. I just, uh, you know, I, I am so glad my phone allows me to do Twitter because I, I feel left out. I, I go to these, I go hang out with you guys, and my phone don't do shit. I had to literally wash my phone, Ninja Larry. I had to wash my phone in the washer and get a brand new phone so I could twitter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, I hate to put you on the spot, brother, but I'm happy to do a freestyle since you're here. Ziggy, quit bullshit. You got to be I'm going to, you know, it, it, it won't be. You, you won't, you won't, you know, throw out the subtitles or whatever, but uh, <laughs> you'll keep it real, brother. Won't oh, you? they keep it in the street. I keep it in the street. <laughs> the streets I rush. I know what it is. Yeah. Uh, here, here we go. Massive deal. Uh. 
I'm gonna fight you different beat. That's not even that. That's like a long. I'm about to say that's the song, nigga. You know, I need to fucking. Snap over meth, I will, dog. That was my nigga Gangstar arrested. That was my nigga Gangstar. That's Guru. Uh, let's do this. That was Massive Field. This should be. Ah, push it. Yeah, I push it. Huh? Hey, you're not cheating. You're real little wild, don't know what it is. Niggas coming around the hood, acting like this shit all good. I don't know who telling them this out here, better trying to keep my hands on the wood. I done cut these bitch niggas off. These niggas done turned out soft. Don't sit back and let these niggas catch you up in a double cross. It ain't nothing I've seen before. That's staying looking at my dough. I'm 19 now, but I probably won't make it to 24. But only time will tell. I done lost my brother, Bill. Who I was boy till I die, and if I die, I try to chase the smell. Three hots in a cotton jail. So long to the dirty streets. So long to the dirty glove. So long to the dirty freaks. See, it's all about revenge. We live like off the hinge. That's why we be in the pen. Pray flip, don't get about 10. Oh God, forgive me for sins. Got caught up chasing ends. Watch the niggas I slow through two tone shit and a platinum cardi lens. I'm out of party ends. Ain't got no love for nothing. Don't worry about shit, young bricks. No bluff, you know I'm going out busting. Huh? Nigga, the real hood. Why? Y'all know it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that yeah. was good. Yeah. Like you know how I do it, Jake. I'm at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, you, you just keep it going, brother. You just. Uh, I love, know, man. I, I love your style, man. Hey, You're no F.A., but I love your style. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to my nigga F.A., man. He's doing real big, man. We you ain't gotta, gotta teach me how to speak you, that you shit. Gotta, you, gotta, you gotta throw a show and get this hey, guy up here. So when I do that shit in French, don't be on my dick. I'm just saying, F.A. told me that shit, nigga. Yeah. I ain't know F.A. was gonna teach me that shit, nigga. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going down, nigga. <laughs> I told you, F.A. is going to open his own series of trade schools where he's going to teach hey. rappers French. Hey. <laughs> it's and coming! Gonna, and we're going to teach the girls more French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know. Oh, shit. Hey, so watch out for the, the mixtape Stay Hungry. One through five. We about to smash the streets real quick. You already know how we do it. We get real little live. Peanut the G coming at you live from the Jiggy Show, man. You all know what it is. Ah. Now what? Uh, now FA, uh, 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 FA's leaving. I don't know where he's heading. He's going to do something. Probably, Smoke is probably. Break. Smoke break. Uh, let's see. Do, do we have? Uh, where did where did Rambo Rhymes go? Shit. Was he here earlier? Where the fuck did he go? Everybody <laughs> left. So my everybody spot. went. Everybody left to give you your spot. Yeah. It's my <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, how's, how's, how's the mixtape coming, brother? Oh, uh, man, you know, I'm in a booth every day getting it in. But, man, I'm going to tell you again, I'm not a rapper. I just know how to do this shit. So stop playing like I'm really a rapper and not a trapper. You hear me? I'm going to for sure. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the, all the, the hip-hop guys went down for a stroke break or went down across the street to get something to drink, and they left you, you know what, here? They left the stunner, man. I'm the <laughs> <guy> <laughs> the here only guy here. Guy here. Well, my, Besides Ninja Larry, Larry, and he don't talk. So. Ninja Larry, that's my nigga right there. <laughs> I had to kick the shit out of you, nigga. <laughs> we love Ninja Larry. Great. Great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> now, uh, we've got... Uh, you, you did your show uh, with, oh, yeah, with yeah, Not the Kid. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what else you got planned coming up? Oh, uh, man. You are, man, we trying to just stay in the booth consistent, man. We supposed to have a couple more shows coming, but I don't know the dates on it. So you're going to have to get in touch with my straight gun, nigga J. Real. You know, he do all that shit. I'm just a little nigga. You know, I just rap. He's Mr. Promoter. Mr. Promoter, J. Real. Nigga, I, know <laughs> the nah, I see you, my nigga. He, not uh, the kid, I see, baby. Not, not, the, not the kid, man. Song. That was, uh, oh, he man. was, man, he, he was, he wasn't playing. Uh, man, he he wasn't fucking shit. around. He don't be bullshit, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't be bullshit. There's a video man. floating around on YouTube of him doing a freestyle. Yeah, he yeah, wasn't fucking around. I put that up. That was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He was in the booth with the nigga. Yeah, he, he wasn't fucking around. Stuff. 
Well, hey, look, look at that. We went, we have another rapper. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you get out of the way, brother. Jump, jump in there. Jump. But yeah, thank, thanks for doing this, brother. Thank, thanks right, for coming yeah, out. You had a, uh, but jump in here, my man. Oh, what are you doing? How are we doing? What kind of problems are you causing today? <laughs> 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 Take that mic, brother, right there. We'll, we'll get this roll. Drinking a snap. <laughs> <laughs> the real hood while talking about having me come out with an energy drink called Jiggy Juice, apparently. <laughs> apparently, that's, uh, apparently that's it. That's what's hot right now. Right, what is that? <laughs> Besides the support. <laughs> Now, uh, <laughs> jump, jump in there, brother. Give, give, give us some information, man. Oh, man, what's going on, man? I'm glad the people finally can see the boy up here on the show, you know, to make a trip out here. You see what everybody's talking about, Jig, you know? I'm like, what up, Jig? Let me come out that Jig, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but uh, pretty much, man, just getting back home and trying to get back into the home circuit of things, you know? Yeah. Get it going, man. I see everybody's here. We had the Cypher show going live. I mean, did you see some of the bars? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> get, out the get out of the way! Get out of the way! Kill the people nation, nationwide. I mean, it's like, man, you, you ain't really messing around with kids. Anymore. Apparently. So I, I'll tell you, man, uh, Cash and everybody's been telling me for the longest time, Kansas has some talent. Man, a lot of it. I watched I watched that, that, that Howie Mandel show last night and I realized America doesn't have any talent, but Kansas has a lot of talent. So Man. I just, <laughs> I, I just tell you, people sticking needles in themselves. You hip hop guys don't fuck around with just crazy crap. The the the, the one the, the only crazy thing that I've the, the two crazy things I've seen in hip hop that are great gimmicks. One is FA and his French. Um two and they had these guys on America's Got Talent last night, and they they, they hip hop pop lock guys, and they're like double jointed, and they're doing all sorts of crazy crap where they're moving their arms around. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't that's know. the only crazy crap I've seen. Well, now you're sitting in here with Randall Rhymes. <laughs> Randall Rhymes. Randall Rhymes. Born and raised that man. It's on my ID, man. I can show you an ID, man. You know, and it's like, yo, I was born for it. You know. Everybody, you, you, you're not national. like the Ultimate Warrior who went out and legally changed his name to Nah, warrior. nah. You are Randall Rhymes. <laughs> hey, 1986, Jack. I came out. You know what I mean? We'll show a couple of cards. Oh my God! You know what I mean? He's literally. Oh my God! Oh, look at this. That was the wrong card. Oh, yeah. he, he's, he's got his. He's got the whole. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! You got. Okay. Yeah. Literally. 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 Oh my God! Literally. Randall Rhymes. Randall Rhymes. There you go, man. You can't. I was gonna hold it up to the camera, but then I thought, oh no, we're gonna end up turning this into like a porn shoot because that's what all the porn people do. They hold up their IDs and they go off and get freaky. We're not doing that here. Although the real hood wise talking about having a, uh, the the biggest titty contest or something here on the chicken hey, table. Yeah, I don't know what's yeah, going you on. Me for that one, we gonna make it happen. Jack. <laughs> you go, you go be. be you, are, are you are you a judge? Are, 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 are you yeah, saying we, we, now uh, you you will be you will volunteer to be a judge? Hey, you'll see me here for that one. If you got that door, <laughs> hey, I'll hold up some cards. Yep, you got a box. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, brother. You, we have been. Uh, I, I've been looking forward to getting you on here for a while. Um, yeah, that's what's up. What 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 do you got coming up? You got any big shows or anything? Man, we one? just got done. Walter came out. I mean, everybody was out there, man. We just got done out of DUA's One Night Stand, man. That thing was Oh, yeah. Crazy. I heard about that, that was shit. That crazy for the local artists. I mean, crazy. You know what I mean? So, we just got done there. I'm trying to go ahead and get into the Eagles Lodge, you know, and get a, a actual signified, you know, Solidification of solidification, me, solidification of me being there. You know what I mean on the paperwork tour. It's like Rob's Eagles Lives tonight. You know what I mean. I'm trying to get there. You know what I mean. But I'm, I'm just getting back, man. So I'm trying to get Rock Island Live. You know, I'm trying to set up a lot of stuff going here. I got the mixtape coming out real, real soon. I'm thinking about entitling it The Wiz. You know what I mean. And it's gonna drop. Guaranteed by the Wiz. The Wiz. You know, that's one of the tracks right now spinning in the background. You know, he's pressing that up, but uh. It's going to drop by the 14th of July, guaranteed it's going to be out on the streets. I'm going to have it on iTunes, and we're going to move it like that, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep promoting, I'm going to keep putting together my slideshows. I mean, you've seen me putting freestyles up recently. 
It's all old stuff, man. I'm just showing you dudes the boy hat bar. I'm not really looking to bars now because I'm more of a, a, a formula rapper now. You know what I mean? I'm looking at your word pattern. I'm looking at how good the song is in all. You know what I mean? What is your hook? What is the verses talking about? I don't want to just keep on rapping over beats, man. That's, that's turning circles, you know? <laughs> now, uh, I've, I've heard this uh, track you did with Rudy Love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holy smokes! Yeah, we we got. A track. Oh my god! We got a track with Rudy Love. Come get it. Um, we did that back in I believe like '08, and that's when we was pushing real big way before I even went to school. And I mean, yeah. we were doing shows. We did a couple of shows at the Zodiac and stuff. Was really promoting that. The we Zodiac. Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I let no trotter, you know, he owns club beds now, you know. He looks out, you know what I mean? Zodiac so sounds like a strip club. <laughs> hey, man, jump, man. Jump, man. That's where we went, right, right in the hood, 13th, you know what I mean? 13th and what, Bastard or something like that? That's right in the hood. So, yeah, we was good. We could walk through the, the club did, you know? You, you know what I think is fabulous about you, brother? And I, I was doing, I, Tube sent me over some information. What 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 is fabulous is your your blackplanet.com profile. Your only friend is Barack Obama. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. with friends like that, yeah, I don't need any other friends. Yeah, no, I'm the I'm friend not. of the president. I got, I got more than that. I think that's just what I show. You know, I, mean? oh, okay. I don't really do too much cross promotional stuff. Up there, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I guess more that, than that. I thought that was great. I go over there and I'm like, what? You should check out the MySpace, man. I'm like 14,700 strong on that profile view. Holy oh. shit. Hey, it's, it's, it was real big. It was It's real big over there. I mean, check it out, man. Look it up. It's there, man. So, uh, so, I've been doing. so, so Randall Rhymes joining us in the building, getting it going. Yeah. And you, you brought the shades. You got the... Okay, the you're shades. Good, you're good people, to go. A lot of people. What are you going to be the next Top Gun movie? <laughs> not at all. Not you, at you, all. You, you're the next. You're the next, next uh, Top Cruise. If you got a couch, you can jump on. Do you? <laughs> so, so if you're ready, brother, <laughs> we can make you the next Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, no. The shades, the shades came back way back in 08 when I went down to Savannah, Georgia, doing music. You know what yeah. I mean? picked them up there, you know, the whole style down there is so different. You know, I travel with music. I mean, me and D.U.A. went to New York doing music. I've been in Bad Boy Records. So it's like... It's well! Like, I, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, I've been well. Like, You know what I mean? <laughs> we drove two days straight out to Wichita, you know, and we got there. So, I mean, like, <laughs> when it comes to traveling and getting it done, man, I do it. I, I'm, I'm out here doing it. You work. You work. You're not fucking around anymore. I'm working hard out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get back into it. Like I said, I took a break from it to go to school and get my money situation up. But the shade. Once again, another guy who, who decided, hey, I need to get educated. Fabulous. I think it is great. I hope these rock guys are taking notes. No, they're not, but the thing is... Man, it can be a real good thing. I'll tell you, you know? I, I, I'm pissing off enough rock guys when I show up at Midwest Rock Fest in a couple of weeks. It's not going to be fun for me. I'll just say, Ninja Larry said it. He threw his voice. But uh, the, <laughs> the thing is, brother, let's let's uh, let, let's let, let's talk about all the different stuff you've got coming up. you got the mixtape coming out. You just did this big show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any other big things on the horizon for you, uh, brother? The single. I'm about to release the single and push it real, real hard. It's called Girl, I Got That. And I'm going to work toward the actual album. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm cyphering through different producers. You know, I'm going to be looking at SE Trill. I got some plans set up with Marquee. We're going to be looking at some actual beats for an album. And I'm going to try to get a lot of local artists on it. I mean, it's going to be all-star jam-packed with Wichita talent. You know what I mean? So... When you look for me, look for something big, man. I mean, I haven't been releasing too much because it's like, why do what y'all doing? Why put out 500 TVs and still not even touch the bottom of gold or, or you know what I mean? Hey, real talk, brother. I mean, I don't, I don't play with it. You know, yeah. I was born to do it, but at the same time... Well, I, I, I will have to say, um, hang around because <laughs> the big announcement is coming. The real hood wide is about to blow the doors off this thing. 
They have a uh, they have a big announcement coming up. Before we, uh, I want I want to play some of your tracks, brother. Before we do that, uh, my good friend Randall Rogers' appearance brought to you by our good friends at Ghost Sim with offices in the U.S. and U.K. Ghost Sim is the leading global, global provider of prepaid SIM cards and uh, services that enable a leisure and business travelers to use their cell phones abroad at prices they can afford. Uh, the banner is available at jiggyjigwaya.com. Also, Flash Bandit Universe. Uh, my God, if, if you're not wearing their clothing, um, I am. But I'm kind of a schmo. But real people that are cool wear their clothes. So, and, and, it, and, and the models on the website, who are these people? That's what I'm trying to figure they, out. They've been doing it, man. Flash the, models are, the models are fabulous. They've been coming to us with all kinds of pressure gear, you know what I mean? So Everybody's got a tattoo. You can't be you can't be a Flash Bandit model without a tattoo. Uh, here we go. Uh, you know, in honor of, of, of everybody having issues with the police today, we're going to play Randall Rhymes' Fuck the Law here on the world famous Chiggy okay. Chick. Because I'll tell you, we, we, people have been having some problems today. I don't know what's going on there. It is, uh, you know, Jesus. I, I, I love I, I love the the internet and the music players and all the stuff. It's 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 great because you go and then it's live radio and you can't get things to load. I love it. <laughs> I literally literally love it. Check out uh, Red Rogers on the internet. I guess we're gonna play wh whatever song actually loads for me. <laughs> that's gonna be just doing me. That's a big Just thing. doing me. Man, that, that's just doing me. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a world famous Jiggy Jagway show. It's like a goat in a hailstorm. <laughs> oh, likes for doing this, bro. Yeah, likes are off. That's what I'm well, I'll tell you, I can. There, there's one vehicle parked out front that I can see why the police decided to pull them over. <laughs> <laughs> You got some boots and feet on there, too. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you he's going to roll down like that. He's smart, though. He's smart. We need to get smart out here. Right? <laughs> 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 I think it's all the people out there. Well, bottom line is a lot of cops got nothing to do. <laughs> they got nothing to do, man. I just man. So you're back, you're ready to go, you're man, I'm off and running. Man, I'm off and running. You no, know, I, I went to school, came back, got my good job that I went to school for and stuff, man. It was like, yo, I don't want to be out here trying to hustle and doing all that, you know what I mean? Then I'm gonna be sure that I'm gonna be able to do my music. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole thing about hustling and all that is can't get caught. You know what I mean? And luckily to this day, I still never got caught. You know, doing what I did. But nah, it ain't the right road. Oh, you about to blow the doors off this son of a bitch, aren't you? <laughs> we got, you know what I mean? We got a lot of people we know that we love dearly that do it. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> I looked at the wrong deal. Thought the volume bar was the song that ran in. Uh, uh, so Dr. Dre's daughter. Where's it going, bro? E40? You're just, you're just going to bring everybody there. 
pissed off. We gotta get them all down here, man. Even Usher. We gotta get Usher. In what? Man. <laughs> We're back here on the world famous Jiggy Jaguar show at uh, www.jiggyjaguar.com and uh, Randall Rhymes. Yep. What are yep. you doing? Man. Are you out causing trouble? Man, I'm I think you're out causing trouble today. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to really, man. I try not to get into trouble, man. Anytime I get into running with them boys, man, it's all bad, man. They pull the pistols out on me and stuff. Freeze right there, you know, because they don't know how to deal with this carry conceal license stuff, man. They issue these things to us, and they don't know how to deal with it. You know, they see a young man with a gun, you know, it's like, hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, I got, I can, I can have this, you know what I mean? So I don't want to see them boys. I'm Shouldn't have made the law. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you're pissed off, don't let the law go through. Man, I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> you know, My God. Honest, you know what I mean? You shouldn't have gave me a, a chance to get it. You know what I mean? I'm going to do whatever I'm missing. Get it going. Last night, uh, and, and I love this, I love this story. Uh, last night we were standing outside the world famous Blue Goat here in Salina, and this Humber comes rolling down the street. These two cops pulled him over. They had the flashlights and all the crap going. They yanked him and his girlfriend out of the fucking car. Then they searched the car. Then they brought the drug dogs out. Then they slapped cuffs on both of them. And then they took the cuffs off of them and said, You guys have a good evening. What the hell did I just see? I, <laughs> what the hell did I just see? A hassle. A hassle. A time and a waste of taxpayer dollars. I, I want to see the police report on that one. <laughs> My God, I just, uh, I don't understand, man. I, I just. It's, 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 it's ridiculous, truthfully, man. When you look at it from a different light, it's ridiculous. You think you actually pay these people to do all of this to you, man, you know? That, you're right. You're paying the tax? You're, yeah. You pay when you pay taxes, money. you're paying. The so the police, the police can come hassle the shit out of like I've law, never man. thought about that before. You are 100% correct, my friend. I'm telling you, man. Holy it's shit. Too <laughs> <laughs> it's too often for me, man. It's right too often for me, man. man. But it's like, yo, not only is he an African American, you know, young man out here, but he also is packing a, a weapon, you know, and it's automatic. As soon as they see that, it's automatic, man. They draw weapons and stuff like that. It's like, man, come on, man, you're killing me. Killin now, uh, explain to me <laughs> what the hell's going on on YouTube with you. I see these uh, Randall Rhymes freestyles. I got some slideshows up here. And there is, some, <laughs> there is something when you first get there. The first graphic that pops up at YouTube.com slash Mr. Randall Rhymes is some... Buddy hanging off their balcony <laughs> with some guy with a gun pointed outside the window at them. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain. Who the that, fuck is. That picture comes from the line. <laughs> <laughs> that picture comes from the line. Go digging skis is like Rob's. What you need is a wife. You know what I mean? And I'm basically displaying. Well, I don't need a wife. You know what I mean? Do Son I need of a bitch. I, I don't need that. You know Son what I mean? of a I, I bitch. I don't need that, you know? And if you, if you play it, you know what I mean, you'll see exactly what I tried to do. I tried to match up a lot of pictures with basic lyrics, you know? Just I'm just sitting back lyrics. going, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I, I got two up. I'm going to try to get some more up, you know what I mean? I've been working with a couple other guys on some actual video. And we'll be posting all of that stuff real, real soon. Hopefully we get that edited down and ready to go. Got a couple of other interviews coming up that'll be posted also. So, yeah. I mean, just stick with me, man. I'm trying to do it all, but I'm not running with no team or nothing. The boy is an independent, unsigned artist out here running, you know what I mean? I work <laughs> real tight with some of the best here, you know what I mean? Or should I say there, we are in the line of my bad guys, you know what I mean? But it is where it goes down to Jimmy Jack, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing we've got here is contest, contest, contest. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. And uh, uh, before I let you go, bro, I gotta have you do a freestyle. Okay, okay. So uh, let me let me let me throw a beat up there. 
Okay. Jump in there, brother. So clock. Three thousand dollars. Mr. Boy Ron. Okay, I drove all the way up to Solana. Looking for me, you can find it. G in the dub, yeah. Blowing marijuana. My eyes look like an iguana. <laughs> I'm off the top, dude. Bring the wrong tail off at your face like hot food. <laughs> if you trip it, then I stop, dude. Stop right now. Don't want to pop you. Hot, too. I'm hot as fuck. Niggas don't want to see me. Don't try your luck. The pork is done. Stick a fork in the red and rocks hotter than the sun. Hey, give me the mic and I'ma run. Show a nigga where I'm from. The K316 get done. You already know we do this for fun. Freestyle off the top in my phone fucking jerking, but the boy is in the booth jiggy jack. Yep, I'm working. <laughs> so you can catch me on the tube. Till then, red and rock signing off, dude. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> that that was fabulous. I like that. That's good stuff. Bro. Now uh, we're 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 gonna we're gonna clear out the uh, Mr. Randall Rhymes. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Thanks for joining right. us. Have a good one. Man. Definitely, brother. Let's get it going. Hour number two of the World Famous Jiggy Jaguar Show. What are you doing? What are you? Doing? You were you, I'm loving it. You're wearing the Raiders. Uh, right. Repping the Raiders, baby. <laughs> we got to rise from the abyss. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Jump in there, brother. Uh, it was good. I'm all the Wichita, Kansas, 2 deep. Uh, is there out here to get in? But six is good, right? Just trying to get this going. How, how can people fall, find you on the internet? Twitter's all that. Uh, MySpace.com slash Water Online. Uh, Twitter slash Water Online. Everything. Facebook, Water Online. Uh, yeah. I keep it simple. You know? Well, that's cool. Okay, you know. I'm just, I'm, I finally made it there, but I'm here. That's good. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to travel on the road, but I'm going to do it. Oh, they got nothing to do. That's the thing. <laughs> they got nothing to do. I was coming over from the Blue Goat the other night, and they uh, uh, they, they were investigating the, uh, the realty place across the street. I'm like, what? What's going on? I don't know. I just don't understand these things. Uh... What 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 exactly is your purpose in hip hop? Are you wanting to make money? Wanting to? What are you doing hip hop for, brother? I'm doing it for me. This is what I was born and raised to do. So I'm, I'm gonna do it. My uncle, my uh, father, all, all the hip hop, not rap, hip hop. Forget <laughs> about these rap. Forget about rappers. You're a hip hop artist. That's I right. I do R and B too. So I do a little bit of both. Well, that's good. Cool. Universal do both ways. So, uh, you, you started rapping at the age of nine, right. and, uh, but, but then you got into it real, real big at 15. Yeah. How did uh, how did you get the bug for it? Were, were you just seeing, did you just turn on MTV one day, or did you, what, what, what happened? How did you get the bug? Uh, I'm from the hood, man. You see niggas <laughs> slanging mixtapes out of trunks. Oh, real. Niggas slanging mixtapes out of trunks. Master already. P style. Oh, you know, already. <laughs> so, uh, I got my little shit together with a mixtape together. And my fucking liked it. They like what I had to say on it. So, for me, I got real serious with it. You know, start building a fan base and all that. Because really, you're nothing without a fan oh, yeah. base. You're nothing without a fan base. Now, uh, now, now you, uh, you market towards the ladies of the world. Is 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 this just something you decided? Hey, everybody else is is trying to get their homies to bump this in their cars. I want to go to a demographic that's not being met. I want to do something for the ladies. I want to get them to buy the, the discs. I want to get them to, to, to come to the shows. Or what, what was what was the inspiration? Don't, don't get me wrong on that. I mean, I, I make all kind of music, man. Yeah. You know, but you won't ever hear me get on no trap shit. Like that selling drugs, that's not me. Yeah. You know, I don't gang bang. Only thing I bang is pussy, no lie. <laughs> that shit, man. And when I say about marketing ladies, that's think about it. That's that's where the money's at, man. Yeah. So that's where you build your fan base at, man. They're going to the shows. You got you got your fellas, but I, I make I make shit for fellas to rock to, you what? know. You know, in the end of the day we all, you know, old town is not playing anymore. Every fucking club, you have to tuck your shirt in like you're a damn cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> that is not okay. where it's at. Hey, that is not where it's at. <laughs> that is that is one thing I am so happy that we don't have a dress code much here in Salina. <laughs> and I'm sending out a message to everybody who's listening. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. 
<laughs> I will touch base with Cash later on that. We will talk about that on this show. Because we got it. We, you know what? What the hip hop scene? The hip hop scene's great down there, Wichita. A lot of talented guys, but a lot of idiots running around screwing up for all you guys. They're banging like a steel ninety four. <laughs> I don't even understand. I, I really don't. Grown, they, grown men. Yeah. I do. Better get the memo. They didn't get the memo. They just did a lot of They didn't get the memo. That's fabulous. You, 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 you. Who's your writer? I need to hire you. The, uh, <laughs> uh, ICTHipHop.com, by the way. Uh, bringing you a man today. Getting it going. T -t 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 Tell me about this, uh, uh, this song, Take It Easy. We're going to play that here. Take it easy. Um, it's something, you know, I like to write music. I, yeah. like, I like to write a lot of music, you know. Yeah. And I try to stretch my talents by writing books, singing, uh, bars, and all that. So I pretty much try to tackle everything on it. Tackle everything all at once. And take it easy when I wrote that. I don't know. I just write something, you know, you go to a club, you can bounce to. And I, it ain't no club track. It is something you go and bounce to. It's universal. You know what I'm talking about? All you guys are always hating on club music. Cash is coming on the cyber show. This ain't no club stuff. I got you saying this ain't a club track. Think, think about What's it. going on here? <laughs> I, I love it though. I, I, I love the fact you guys are all unified in one front. Uh, well, that's a thing. You will never hear me with a song that has a dance to come with it. That's not where it's at. That's a dance to come with it. You will not find me in skinnies. It's not where it's at. It's no like, Cotton Eye Joe stuff. There's some, some shit you cannot do. <laughs> well, here you go. It's Take It Easy and it's on the World Famous Cheeky Jane White Show at www.cheekyjaneway.com. <laughs> That's great shit. Yeah, that.
Pepsi Cola, this monster that we do the action show. I wish I could catch the response of the show. For all these people. I mean, some of them. They are We're back here in the world famous Cheeky Jigway show at www.cheekyjigway.com and uh, I'll tell you this the block that I live on is the most populated block on a Sunday. Between hip hop artists coming to this show and white people going on the street to buy their meth. It's a it's a hell of a block. We love it. <laughs> Do they cater? I don't know. I just <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. Uh, it, it is the world famous Chicky Jake what you show and uh, my man's with us. What's going on, brother? You just you just getting it going. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying man. <laughs> now, what? Uh, tell me about this. Uh, your upcoming projects. Uh, R and B's. Yes. It's crazy name. R and B's. Yes. R&B's. I did not want to slaughter it, so I figured I'd let you say it. <laughs> Mainly, uh, me and Young Zone. I don't know if y'all heard of us or know the cat from Wichita, Kansas. So we gonna bring back R and B. Let's switch. Let's switch to hip hop. You know. That's it. That's it. We then we got Over Level Two. If you ain't heard Overload One, I guarantee you every 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 track on there, man. Every part went into it, everything. You won't find no cranking, no skinny jean jerking, none of that, none of that bullshit. You won't find that. <laughs> I, I I will have to say, and I'm, on, I'm and, and, and I'm not just saying this because because he's here, but I, I'll tell you, you 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 and Cash need to get together and like uh, uh, write material because. <laughs> The stuff you're yelling out there, it ain't no skinny team, bro. The same kind of stuff he's yelling on the Cypher show. It's great. You guys, you guys need to need to get together, get your writers together, and uh, <laughs> come up with some stuff. Because I, I think you guys can have like you you can pull like the next Saturday Night Live, you know, with all with all the and and, and the real talk, man. It's, it's good stuff, man. Now, uh, you have a, a, I, I got a I got a press shot uh, that might might be from the. Uh, might be from the the, the new CD. Uh, this photograph of you with the F on the shirt. Think, oh, that's my logo, man. <laughs> who did this? Who did this art? This is freaking crazy. Bro. I did. Really? I did graphic design. Well. That is cool. See, you go with the flyer and all that. Seven two seven four zero eight three. Just get it out there. You want the design? I want your money. Yeah. <laughs> you want the design? I want your money. That, hey, there you go, man. But that that is that is how long did it take you to make that? I'm gonna put something together five minutes for it to make it look like an hour. Oh my god. Forget about Photoshop. Oh this guy. They Give me that number again. Three one six seven two seven four zero eight three. I'll let you. I'll let you. Now uh let, let let's let's talk about this track bedtime. Um I wrote that. It, I, when I write, it take me like I can write a verse, throw it away, ball it up. I don't like it. When I wrote that right there, I went to damn near half a notebook just to get it out. I want the sound. This is a single right here. Yeah, I get play uh, strip clubs, uh, Texas. Uh, that's mainly what I'm trying to market. It's a ladies, man. That's where the money's at. <laughs> Build your fan base, man. <laughs> Build your fan base, man. That's a promotion, you know. <laughs> So well, like I said, it's the cash hostilization of America. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is building promotion. Everybody's doing all this like, good oh, stuff. Not about promotion. <laughs> you can promote all you want, but if you get a team by, you can go far. There you go. There you go, brother. That's actually the single though, off the uh, overload mixtape. Well, here we go. Let's go for a bedtime here on the World Famous Jimmy Jay Question. 
Who is the crazy guy with the guitar wandering up and down? Is that the guy? That's the guy who's saying all the hill and just saying that play. That's some crazy guy guns. wandering around down the street here with a guitar. Who? Yes, that's the way we ain't made. We are a high school down there. <laughs> That's crazy. This song's getting played in strip clubs. That's awesome. One of the few hip hop guys that's making lap dance music. Hip hop. All kind of music. Stuff. Yeah, I got this. I gotta hear you, right? Yeah. This is the kind of music you can sit in stage side for dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to get stuck. My landlord wasn't so freaking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> www.jiggyjigway.com uh, Man, good stuff, dude. <laughs> you, you just, wow, that is a... Uh, I got I can be outside somewhere. <laughs> that, is, that is good stuff, man. Man, that, you know, we're, we're, we're good about making music for clubs. I just make lap dance music. <laughs> you just, you just ought to make lap dance music. Forget about all this. I, I literally during that song, I had visions of me sitting at Jezebel's, not at Wild Wild West, because that's just a place where where chicks take their clothes off under hot lights. It's not a strip club. But uh, I had visions of me sitting sitting at Jezebel, just throwing money on stage to that song. I just, which first of all. Me throwing money on stage, I'm a cheap bastard. I don't think I'll be doing that. Throw other people's money on stage. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now, now, tell me about uh, some some of your big shows you got coming up. You got anything booked anywhere, bro? Uh, the 26th, I'm going to be at Rag Daddy's uh, Dallas, Texas. Um, I think it might sound like I said, but I've been busy working on this mix. I mean, I ain't really had that. Yeah. Time. Hold on, I'm trying to get over. The- I don't know what DJ I'm gonna get to, to host the host mixtape, but he's right, you can't have a mixtape without a DJ. A yeah. And that's real time. Yeah, I'm gonna find uh, either Pino, Sway, and Drew. Shout out to the core DJs, the Hustle Squad DJs, anybody over the local artists and hip hop scene. Yeah. Well, and by cool. the way, uh, Chris Barnett single handedly killed Sway. You didn't know about that. Does, does Chris Barnett like pay people oh. to shout out his name, please? Because oh. yeah. I'll tell you, he is the man. Yeah. He ain't got to pay. Because people are either, I, I'm, I'm hearing this more and more, people are either repping Chris Barnett or Cash. They, they, they both, people just love these guys oh, like yeah. crazy, man. It's, oh, it's, bro, it's, bro, that is hot, too. Don't confuse <laughs> me, man. Don't confuse me, man. I got both face sites and my motherfucking bookmarks on my phone right now. Man. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Now, uh, 
Will we, um, I, I guess I, I, I have three questions. One, will we ever see you on the Cypher show? Possibilities. Okay. <laughs> Two, um, I need to get a freestyle out of it, brother. So that's possible. And uh, three, uh, mention the websites. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, MySpace.com slash World Online, uh, Twitter.com slash World Online, Facebook World Online, ICT Hip Hop slash Profile slash World Online. And you got the number now. If you want some graphics done, Get your money up and come out. <laughs> Get your money up and come out. Well, uh, let's see here. Let me find... Where was that I had earlier? Uh, now... Oh, here we go. This... I don't know. It's not working. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, when it's all said and done, you don't respect me. Ain't gotta like me, no Nike, ain't gotta check me. Ain't never lied to you, niggas, when I write shit. I always drop for the city, despite shit. You better look both ways before you cross me. I'll be here till the day that them niggas choke me. Hey, my city never giving up. I put on for this bitch until the zip up. Damn. <laughs> hey, that works, brother. That's good. That's good stuff, man. Good stuff, man. I'm not as hell. Hey, it's it, it's internet radio, brother. You do. I'm probably on the phone things leaving this bitch. I'm trying to soak it all up. Soak it all up. I'm trying to soak up the city while I can. That's right. Y'all police have nothing to do with it. Now, uh, I got I got one more question for you. You're you're, you're wearing the, the Raiders jersey. No, no. You're not a Raiders fan. No, but check the name on the back. Oh. The legend, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice in the building. I'm a huge Bo Jackson fan. I'm a huge Cowboys fan. Dallas. Oh. They got that big, have you been to the new stadium? Yeah. What's the deal with that big old screen, man, on the top of the? Okay. <laughs> because balls are hitting that thing, you know. <laughs> that's that's that, that's fabulous, man. What 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 do you think of the new stadium? Is it better than the old one? Or? Oh, it's more smacking over, it's smacking off the stadium. <laughs> Jerry knows how to spend his money. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Jerry Jones, I had to spend his way. Well, brother, I appreciate you making some time for us. Um, I guess uh, we'll, we'll see you on the other side, bro. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick little time out when we come back. Uh, we will slide in Mr. Mayor himself, Mr. Cash Hollister, in the building, and uh, we're gonna do a little thing called a hip hop workshop, which is something I came up with, not him. Uh, because if he would have come up with it, it would have been a cool idea. Then there'd already, it'd already be on shirts somewhere. So uh, <laughs> back after this, they're in a world famous GT. GT, wire, wire Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. <laughs> Well, it is the world famous Jiggy Jigway show. Looking out the window to make sure I don't get assassinated. I don't know why I would get assassinated. Is uh, you know, Jiggy Jag doing it for you here on the world famous Jiggy Jigway show? And uh, I've got my friend, my close personal longtime friend, Mr. Cash Hollister. How you doing, sir? Pretty good, actually. Now, uh, we have had many conversations in the past about uh, a lot of these rappers out here need media training, they need all these different things. Um, one thing I will have to say, and I, and I, I was talking to F.A. earlier about this, and I, and I, everybody seems to be getting into the hip-hop world, seems to be going and getting education. They're going and doing all these things. I'm calling it the cash holistization of hip-hop. Because you're the first guy that I know of, besides, you know, that, that actually went out and got a degree and got, you know, got a decent team behind you. They're not just out there, oh, I want to smoke blunts, drink, and have a mixtape. 
they're going out and marketing themselves. Right. Uh, is well, that? I, I think it's common sense. <laughs> if you want to, and so you know, business, you got to understand the music, and that's the business. Yeah. And, um, and so that's just one rap. That's it. Oh yeah. And, uh, they have no business sense. They don't have, or they don't get somebody with a business sense. Yeah. It's just more so for the fame, but not so much for the grind and for the work. Yeah. So, you know, for me, I had to get that business training first. Yeah. You know, I, you know the music is always going to begin no matter what. No but I, I've seen and heard way too many stories about things getting jerked in the industry, and I just did one time. We all had deals to get me, but get me at the table or whatever, but a lot of them were just not in shape. Yeah. Like, if I had a bank account of almost money that I was supposed to be getting, yeah. I would be a billionaire yeah. almost money. Yeah. There's a lot of people I can talk. Oh, yeah. But when it comes to paperwork, when it comes to you know, putting money over the map, it is Now, uh, you've got some, some big shows coming up. I, I want to I wanna talk about this uh, this big one you got coming up, ICT Hip Hop, Rock Island. Saturday, June 12th, we're right down for Yeah, um, yeah shout out to uh, Jim Gray and all the people who are locked out a lot. Um, I did a Rockstar Thursday showcase um, with Nana uh, it was back in like March or whatever. Yeah. And um, spoke with Janet. Jane. Uh, it was cool with uh, the hip hop show. And, you know, I hollered at uh, one of the people's name, Slaw, and Chris Barnett, Rebel Hunt. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the lineup. It was just we, we wanted to create sort of a lyricist lounge. Yeah. That's pretty much the whole setup. Just nothing but, you know, just straight hip hop. Um, just get lyrics and just a good time. So, yeah, so it's going to be a, a pretty good one. Shout out to the whole ICT hip hop clip for uh, helping sponsor it. And, 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 it's a, and it's a hell of a deal because it's like five bucks to get the go to see all this town. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't. It's a bargain. <laughs> that, is, that is a hell of a bargain. But, your week, your week seems to never, <laughs> you, you never seem to get a break, because you are always rolling. You have, you have Festival Jam this week, yeah. out there at yeah. Smokey yeah. Over Festival here in Salina. Yep. Then you've got the after party, the yep. various after parties. The various after parties. <laughs> and then, what? Do you have anything Friday? I'm sure you've no, something got something I'm, Friday. Or are you resting no, up Friday? Just, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I just promoted the Cloud and Touch Party. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I am resting up. Uh, I'm still getting checked, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but Saturday is the Wichita uh, show, Rock Island Live. And then Monday, I'm actually heading out to Springfield, which I'm doing a youth camp out there. Monday, wow. Wednesday. Uh, we'll be in Little Rock, and then I come back to do a show in Scott City. My first time out in Western Kansas um, on the uh, looks like the 19th. So, man. And I got it, and we got to get out the season for now. We'll decide to and the Sun Show, so, all, 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 all it comes together, brother. Uh, shout out to my wife. <laughs> she is a superhero. Unbridled. I've met your wife. She is a superhero. Understanding. A lot, of, a lot of chicks would have failed, much like yeah. you know what I'm saying before. Yeah. I don't even think about being married. Yeah. To me. So, for her to do that and take away from her, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. She is, she is fabulous. She's a miracle worker. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is, that is not, not BS. She is a miracle worker. And, uh, you know, you got, you got the little one in your life now. Right. And, uh, she, she just hit 10 months. No, she got to hit 10 months. So, yeah, crazy. I can't believe it's almost a year. So, but yeah. She's a little ball of fire, too. That and loud. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, tell me about this uh, Smoky River Festival performance you got coming up. Oh, my goodness. The Festival Jam uh, coming up uh, Thursday. Um, we get on, let's say, 8 o'clock, because that's tentative. Tell everybody to show up half an hour early, just in case you know something happens. But, uh, yeah. So we're taking over, man. Hip hop definitely going to be represented well. Festival um, gentlemen. Shout out to Steve Hansen, Paul Hansen Squad. Uh, I've been 
take, he takes a, uh, he, he has taken a, uh, from what people have said in the past, a huge risk on having hip hop and stuff in there, and, and it works. Yeah. Yeah, I think you just gotta, it, it's good for him because he knows what works. Um, and he understands that hip hop pretty much is the voice of you. Yeah. Um, the majority of people that do go to the rest of the room are the rock and roll country. Yeah. But there is a demographic that wasn't reached up until, you know, Tyler uh, got me. Yeah. And so, yeah, I was grateful for the opportunity. And, you know, I'm just there to just get good music. Yeah. You know, not even so much hip hop, but just music, period. So, you know, you see me rocking with uh, my people's love and live, my band, and then I got some extra uh, help. So the Sunday family will be out full force Thursday wow. eight o'clock. Crazy. That's that's, 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 that's worth a, that's worth a button right there. <laughs> the band is nuts. We've been doing these practices, and I've just been in awe sitting there and, and looking at the positions go. I'm just gonna tell you, I got this sax player. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, definitely come for that. Uh, yeah, we just, I really want this performance to be like the most talked about. Yeah. The whole festival. You know, no disrespect to Kathy and Taylor. But, yeah. And none of those other acts, but, you know, like, you're going to understand that I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when, when it's all said and done, okay. that will... That will be the one that we chat about for days to come. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, last night, <laughs> I have to, I have to get this out there with you, and, and I think it's funny. But we were Ninja Larry, Action Corey, Jared the Animal Steel, and myself were. Well, we, we went out to the Blue Goat, and we saw. Um, we were running into my buddy Beamer. And he was telling me about the fact that was a bu there's a bunch of clowns running around out at Indian Rock trying to find a damn medallion. He said there's idiots running around with flashlights and all sorts of stuff because they think that's where it is. And he goes, you ought to go out there and, 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 and watch them. Well, on the way out there, Corey's like, I'm going to go get my airsoft gun and shoot them. Right. Uh, uh, okay, fine, whatever. So we're on our way out there. And this song comes on John Garabini's house party on 97.5. Boom Boom Pow, I think is what it's called. And Jared turns around and goes, is that Cash? And I, <laughs> I said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and he goes, no, 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 that's Cash. That's uh, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he doesn't listen to a lot of rap. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, well, if I, if I had, I wish I could have. Todd Todd Pinger, my, my 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 buddy Todd Pinger from KSAL. Apparently, Todd. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you mean it's I wish, not? No, I wish I wish I had the royal text for that. Boy, I was I know that was like the, uh, one of the most downloaded songs. The yeah. most downloaded and most played on the radio. So yeah. Wait, royal text. I wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, I, I, I want to chat about some of this stuff that, you know, um, we, we, we do videos and, and interviews and stuff with hip-hop guys and rock guys and everybody all the time, and there's a lot of times there's all sorts of... You, you, you've said it many, many a time on, on Twitter and Facebook, rappers need media training. Right. <laughs> For the for the layman and the people that don't know what you're talking about, expound on that, my friend. Um, I might step on some toes here, I don't care. <laughs> okay. But I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm talking about it. I guess for the betterment of the hip hop community, to be able to take over here in Kansas. But I think a lot of the YouTube videos that you put out, yeah. Um, I think a lot of the shows, and I think that with the exception of like a handful of people, I think most of these get on, they see a camera, they see a microphone, and then they just start acting crazy, not knowing that that's the image that you put out there. You know, yeah. once, once that jump is on YouTube, unless they holler at you to take it yeah, down, it's, it's out, out there. there. You 
know, so yeah. in like five, six years from now, you are on some different tip. And the person that, you know, wants to, that just got onto your music, is wanting to go on YouTube, they see you talking about, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, shout out to my dudes, you know what I'm saying, I'm smoking right now, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, or you just say a whole bunch of, nigga, 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 yeah, nigga, what? <laughs> you know, and it's like, We've, the clip up game. <laughs> and it's like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you have to, you have to learn how to talk properly, you have to learn how to, you know, have a good conversation without, you know, being crazy. And, and, and being, um, I'm going to say niggerish. <laughs> okay. And, you can't, and I just, can't. And that's, and that's right. <laughs> I'll say that. It's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's just the way you come across. Yeah. You come across as being ghetto. Um, well, yeah. And, and, that's, that's, and that's you, if you want to do that, that's cool. But I'm yeah. saying, if you're trying to, you're trying to market yourself, you're trying to promote yourself to an audience, you got to learn how to have a proper conversation. Yeah. Because when you get on, you know, talking with Carson Daly, and you yeah. talk to, you know, other interviewers, you really can't come with that. Yeah. You know, you got to be able to speak. So. Well, I've noticed through, and, and, and this is kind of, this is just the odd deal. Since, since bringing more hip-hop guys and doing the radio show here, I have a lot, it, it's like you get, a, you get a guy in front of a video camera, and he's completely different, and then we're sitting down here chatting. And I'm like, it's the same thing. Well, I think... <laughs> you, you, tell me you jump into character when you're on a microphone or when you're in front of a camera. Yeah. Um, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's terribly bad. Um, yeah. But, I mean, if you, if you, you know, want to portray a character, then that's good. Yeah. Um, because we have characters in hip-hop. That's oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you're trying to take yourself serious, as an artist, or one who can take it serious as an artist, you gotta learn how to play that role. You gotta learn how to play the game and drop it. And uh, understand that, you know, the way that you talk on the block doesn't translate to one and two. Yeah. So, that's it. Well, and the, uh, we, we, we were talking about the, uh, you know, just media training and all that stuff with, with the hip hop guys. Uh, the one thing I think is great is that you get all these guys together, especially like in Cypher Show, I see this a lot. You get all these guys together and they're starting to get the point of um, networking. Okay. Just 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 watching today a little bit here. Guys who are hanging out, waiting to get on the show, handing out phone numbers, handing out mixtapes, everybody's marketing. And I go to like and Larry can probably attest to this a lot. We've gone to some of these some of these metal shows or whatever, and there's guys that show up, they put their equipment in the back, they get on stage, they sell their merch, they get the hell out of there, and they're not talking, they're not, you know, well I'm you know blah 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 from whatever, and it's like, dude, you're from Hutch, okay, <laughs> I know you, you're from Hutch, and it, 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 it's just like the hip hop guys get together now, and they're they're they know that without themselves this is not going to work. When by themselves that it's not going to work. What, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when did this happen? When when, when when did this change? Because I remember a while back, it was like I'd go to some hip hop shows, uh, you know, just different local hip hop shows, and guys are standoffish, and they are I'm with my clique, and that's it. And now everybody's like, I think um, ICT hip hop. I think also yeah. later also. They played a big role in yeah. um, you know, the, the, just the concept of networking. But I mean, anybody that's got initiative and they got grind and they know yeah. that they can you know, reach out to other people, um, that's pretty much networking. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it started happening because they started seeing that you know there's other cats out there, you know, that's doing it and that's, yeah. you know, that's kind of nice. Um, because a lot of times, especially me, like when I moved back. Uh, back to Solana from Atlanta. Yeah. You know, I honestly was under the impression that I was the only person doing rap. Because yeah. you know, I was just, I was the only rapper that was on these all rock and roll lineups, you know, the festival yeah. jams and things of that nature. So, you know, I'm thinking, all right, it's just me. And then my dude's in Junction City, High Point. We're the only rappers here. Scroll game. Camp, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then, like, once, 
I went on to like ICT hip hop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> once I went on to ICT hip hop, and once I started going to the shows outside of you know Salina, yeah. I was in the dub, going to Junction City, going to Pete, seeing that there's other cats out there that's you know that's doing it on a level similar to mine. Yeah. And it was like okay, I got to talk to you just to see what you're doing in your city and how we can connect to maybe where you can come yeah. do something here to go. And I come up to Topeka, go to Greece, go somewhere, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and, and do stuff. So, I mean, that's networking. Right? Well, and the one thing that I like about the, especially hip-hop now, especially here in Salina, is the fact that everybody is doing everything together. Because, like, about a year or two ago, we had, there was the Straight Gutter guys, there was the Cash Hollister guys, there was the Clotted Judgment and the White Rapper guys. There was, you know, the, the Sick and Twisted guys. And it was just everybody had their little groups. And nobody played on anybody's night. And it was always, you know, if I went to a Sick and Twisted show, I knew I was going to see nothing but Latino rappers. Nobody else. If I went to a Cash show, I knew I was going to see Cash, H. Diggy, Trace the Weapon, people like that. But I wasn't going to see, you know, the Latino rapper guys. If I go to straight gutter show, I'm going to see nothing but straight gutter guys, nobody else. Now, everybody is on everybody's shows, and everybody is networking, and it, it, it is fabulous. It's great. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, you realize that there's different fan bases out there. Yeah. And so, realizing that, it's like, okay, we have a scene, so then why don't we all just start doing shows, you know, together, start doing yeah. little things, or start doing something like move the crowd, start doing yeah. Battles and start doing this type of show to expose people. Yeah. Like it's more to Salina rap than Cloud of Judgment. Yeah. It's more to Salina rap than Cash Hollis. It's more yeah. to Salina rap than Straight Gutter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's more to it. And we we have, I think now we have hip hop for anybody. Yeah. Like if you want Chicano rap, if you want yeah. that type of style, we're sick of twisting those people. Yeah. Like, Want that chug a low rap? Yeah. Try to judge me if I say you yeah. If you want that hood stuff, the real hood of wood world, worldwide, you've got um, straight gutter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, those of you who hear it, you just want lyricists, lyricists of good music, uh, whatever, then you got me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, you have all of that here. And so, it's something for everybody. It's, and and that's, that's the scene. Like, it's not, it's not even so much competition. You know, I, I think once I had, to, I had to talk to some of them, some of the people, and let them know, like, you know, it's not a competition. You can have your own fan base. Yes. I have mine, but let's just bring it together. It's so, it's it's good stuff, really. Now, uh, what it, what I guess what what are the top three things that you know, hip hop guys, rappers, whatever in this genre of music need to do that they're not doing? That, that either you're seeing other people do, or you're doing yourself, or... Top three. Yeah. Because it seems like, you know, everybody's networking, everybody's got, you know, everybody's online, because they've either got a Facebook or Twitter or something. Yeah, um, they got some three things they need to do. They need to stop bragging about having 300 MySpace downloads, or 300, <laughs> um, yeah, just 300 <laughs> downloads. Yeah or something like that, and it's like, that's 300 downloads. One, who cares? Two, how do we not know that it's you or your boys hitting all the <laughs> Just time? Just going and hitting it all the time. You know, hitting it and pushing it. And, and, and three, are these 300 people going to be around to buy your album, to purchase your album when it drops? Yeah. It just, it, it amazes me. Sometimes I see Twitter, Twitter posts and I see those that are most, hey man, we got 600 downloads. And they'll think that that's like the greatest thing ever. And it's like, man, how at me when you got, you know, put two little digits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, XB, his video, um, Fall Out the Sky, got 100,000 views. And it's been out for about, you know, eight, nine months. That's something you can talk about. That's big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's big. But you on Twitter, you know, talking about. Man, I got 450 downloads and 450 hits. I'm on MySpace. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, first of all, MySpace is dead. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, if, MySpace, I don't know if anybody is going to MySpace anymore. MySpace died in like 2008. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can still use it, but that shouldn't be a good barometer of how hot you are. Yeah. 
they was only going to check my space like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. nobody cares. And then one, like, um, I, I guess that's one. Yeah. Two, um, to figure out your families. Um, yeah. I, I was looking at some things. And I peep. I peep the game. Like, I might not be talking a lot. Like, but I'm on Twitter heavy. You know, I, I do my social networking thing. I'm on that a lot. Um, Facebook. I said, you know, I see, I see the comments. And, you know, one of the things I wanted to address was, you know, a lot of people was getting on ICT Hip Hop's case um, for kind of going in a different direction, different direction as far as quality control. Yeah. They weren't going to just put stuff on the main page because they're from Wichita. Yeah. And, and, and my thing was, first of all, I mean, I love ICT Hip Hop, but if they don't play, if they don't put none of my stuff on there, does that really hurt me? No, because I have my fan base. That's who you should go to first. Yeah. Do you have a Facebook group? Do you have a Facebook fan page? Do you have a freaking mailing list? You know what I'm saying? To where, like, when you do shows, you have a mailing list. Yo, if y'all if y'all like what y'all heard, come see me at the table. You got a mailing list where you, where you sign up to get yeah. your, you can sign up your email. You got Facebook, you have a Twitter. You might as well holler at you, put you on the mailing list. We'll let you know what's going on because that's your... That's your tribe in, 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 yeah. in, 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 in any way. So if ICT Hip Hop doesn't play another one of my songs, that doesn't matter because my fan base isn't on ICT Hip Hop. It's on the Got Cash Facebook group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's on it's on my mailing list. Yeah. And and I'm not even gonna throw numbers because it doesn't really matter. But like yeah. that's that's who you should be focusing on. Don't focus on the blockers. I mean that's good. That's part. That should be part of your. Yeah. That should be part of your arsenal of who you send your music to. But if the bloggers, newspapers, JD Jag, if they're not paying attention to you, who cares? Go to the fans. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go to your fans because those are the ones that are going to purchase your album. Yeah. So that's that's the second thing. Third, um, excellence. You know, be yeah. excellent. Oh, yeah. Be excellent. What you, do. you know, I think uh, you know my motto when it comes to, to stuff, when it comes to music, to the cyber show, to move the crowd, to all of that, is strive for perfection but settle for greatness. Yeah. You know, so I that's 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 the thing I do all the time. It's like, man, I want to make this this record crazy. You know, and I want it to be great. I want. So my my uh, the crowds, I want my hip hop battles to be great. You know, I want the Cypher show to be the best show, hip hop show that anybody's ever seen in the state. Yeah. And you know, that's that's what I shoot for. You know, I, I'm not perfect. I haven't, you know, we haven't had a thousand, but I'll settle for being accurate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'll settle for that 80%. I'll yeah. settle for 70%. That's cool. Yeah. So, you know, just be excellent in what you do. Well, you have, uh, well, one thing before I let you go, bro, um, you have, you have amassed a, an empire following in, in Salida and the surrounding area. Um, About a thousand followers on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what the number? A thousand followers. That really doesn't mean anything. See how stupid that sounds? That's big. That's big. <laughs> but, um, you you have your hands in everything. How do you keep all this? <laughs> I don't know what I did yesterday. I just, <laughs> well, that's that's uh, God and my mother. Uh, my mother just taught me basically uh, organizing. So, yeah. Many, it's, it's like it's almost like this room. I got like a war room. I yeah. think every artist should have something like that where they. They have their visions or what they they want to do for like 2010 or what they just want to do. Yeah. They should just have it set out. Like, and I'll I'll share this with y'all. But like, if you go into my room, I got a map of the state of Kansas, like an atlas. And I have Holy. the whole state of Kansas. I got the map right there. Yeah. So I see all the cities and I know where I'm where I'm trying to target. And then they, and I have a plan. I have a calendar. You know what I'm saying? Where I, where I write things down and stuff like that to where. What's going on? Stuff like that. Uh, what I need, things that I want to see happen in 2010, things that I need to make 2010 be a good year. I mean, 
the management. So that's what I'm looking for. Looking for a manager. I need yeah. this. I need publicists. I need, you know, something like that. Those are just examples. But that's pretty much how I approach it. Well, that's cool. Bro. <laughs> well, hey, I appreciate you doing this. I, I, we, we've had we've had you know personal conversations in the past about different things that are going on, but, and I have a lot of different people that we had on the show that you know Twitter, email, and all the crap. You have a lot of people who respect the hell out of you, brother. And uh, I appreciate you doing this as like a public service, yeah. coming on and, and yeah. doing this plus plus promoting all the, all the different gigs you got coming up. This this ICT hip hop thing. Uh, oh yeah, you're doing. Is gonna be great because you know the talent that's on this. It, Man, Kevin's got talent. Like, yeah, with, I, with, uh, yeah. If you go on ictheadhop.com, you'll see that there's a lot of uh, a lot of talent in the artist. Man, like, you just heard water. I didn't even know what did all that stuff. I mean, I heard about him. Yeah, he talked a couple of times, but just to hear that he was saying you know, that's all that. I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's the talent to do. Chris Barnett, you know, stuff that people, artists that I never even really listened to prior to coming back, yeah. and then even um, I said to him about it. And you got Manish Law, who's Manish like the, the biggest thing on the planet, it seems yeah. like. <laughs> this guy. But then, yeah, he needs to show up for gigs on time. But the thing <laughs> is, <laughs> I, well, and see, and see this, and, and see this, this is the thing. Like, like Manish, I, I kind of have always equated him. To kind of like the Cash Hollister of Wichita. But he is doing so much stuff. So He, he is running in 90 directions. That he can't keep it all, you know. And, and, and Nana is, you know, a great guy. But, oh my God. You're, you're <laughs> not, Nana can't even keep everything straight. So I think that's what Polar and Domino and B. Gosh is in for. Oh, okay. they, got a, they got a good team. Yeah. And that's and that's what Water was such an yeah. that I that I agreed with. Like, you know, if you don't have a team, there's a lot of stuff that you're missing out on. You oh know, yeah. it's, it's cool, you know, doing stuff by yourself. But I I personally hate booking. Yeah. I don't I don't care. I'll rap. That you know, I want to concentrate on my crap, but I don't really want to talk to the promoters like, hey, okay, so we're gonna do this and you know, how much money do you want to get? Like I, I don't care about that. But I got somebody that will talk to them and they will give me the information, they'll be like, all right, well, I got you this gear, blah blah blah, you get this yeah. much, whatever. So he got a, he's got a good team. He's got a good team behind okay. him. That's probably why he's he's doing what he's doing well down there. I remember a comment you made about I don't know, a month, month and a half ago about the fact that you had uh, all these uh, and, and uh, what was it? Something about how if you had a billion people around you like all these guys seem to have, you would have people at the door shaking hands. I would have people telling people who I am. And, <laughs> yeah, and it's, that's what I simply would say. But the thing that I respected about like the OGs, like the old school gangsters, yeah. that they had a team, and it wasn't, they weren't saying they were gangsters. Just to be gangsters, you know what I'm saying? Like I think a lot of the young cats would be like, "Yo, I'm good," or I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a gangster, and all they do is just smoke weed, get in fights. But if they had like, if I got 20 dudes with me, I'm not endorsing drug dealing, by the way, but I'd be the biggest drug dealer around, yeah. simply because I would know how to run an operation. I think a lot of the cats love the fact of being a gangster, but they're not enamored with yeah. the grind that goes behind it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. With me, I'm like, man, if I if I really if I had no soul and if I just really wanted that money, I would be running an operation around here. Just yeah. to get everybody in shape and say, look, this is what you do, this is your job, this is your job. Because that's how that's how the OG put it. Yeah. And they would run stuff. Oh, they, would, they, would, they wouldn't necessarily even tell you. But other people would. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because they they handle business. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's how I try to run an operation. I mean, I'll tell you that this 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 is the thing. You you have got uh, just a you're you're organized. You've got you know shows going. You've got people in different directions. You're you're you're. I, I'll tell you you you. I've, I've said this for a long time. You impress the hell out of me <laughs> because you you can get you know people to. Do all sorts of stuff, and you've got people motivated. You've got 
you know, I know that every time, like the first couple times that we started bringing in rappers to do the radio show here, your name would get brought up, and they're just like, oh my God, he's the chosen one. They just they they had to listen to anything that you said. They followed. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this today is because if these guys are really that into you, they need to listen and go do it. <laughs> and that's and that's it, man. Just go out and do, you know, do what you're supposed to do. If this is your purpose. If this is what you really want to do, then do it to the focus. You know, don't don't waste space. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This this rap game is overpopulated as it is, and it's and it's, it's hard for the real talented ones to stand out because everybody thinks they're rapping. Yeah, cool. because they can put bars together. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean you're an MC, that doesn't mean you're an artist. You just, you know what I'm saying? You're taking up space. So I just want to motivate, motivate the real cats, you know, that, 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 that have an ambition or that have a desire to do it. And they know that they can do it. Yeah. Just give them motivation, give them tools. You know, I'm blessed to be a blessing. So why not? How could I not help? Well, uh, go ahead and mention how, how do people get a hold of you? By, by now, they all know. Go. com C A S H H O L L I S T A H. Not the white boy book. Hollista A H dot com. Um, from there, that's going to take you to the Facebook, the Twitter, my space, all the sign things, all that stuff. So, catchhollister.com. Um, ICTHEPOP.com. Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're going to get out of here with uh, with your song Lay It Down. Tell me about this, brother. Uh, Lay It Down. <laughs> uh, it's a single. Um, it, this is on my old mixtape, Best the Cash Austin so far, which if you haven't got it, you can get it um, on the website. But Lay Down sort of just took on a life of its own. Um, you know, the mixtape came and went. People, you know, downloaded it, loved it, whatever. But then Lay It Down sort of got a second win. And so now it's you know it's starting to get delayed here in Kansas. Like I used to live in Atlanta. So <coughs> excuse me, just lay it down it's, it's you know, it's in it's in Georgia, it's in Florida, it's on the East Coast. And, it, and when you hear it's an East Coast sounding track, but I guess it's a thinking man's club song. Um, but lay it down to me the home of the beat drops is ridiculous. Uh, and that's 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 pretty much everybody's uh, Reaction upon it. So, lay it down. Shout out to my man, Big Jacksonville. Um, and, uh, yeah, lay it down. Okay, well, here we go. On the world famous Jim Jigway show. And uh, the big announcement's coming up here just a minute. So, <laughs> here it is. It's 5,000 Twitter followers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, man, you, you're, you're still the man. You're still okay. here. You're still getting it going. Now, uh, t- tell me. We, we we were talking uh, MySpace before uh, before laying down. Uh, you you wanted to interject something about MySpace. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, I think the MySpace mentality. The reason why MySpace sort of died was because um, everybody like the, the artists sort of killed MySpace with like incessant plugging, like hitting people's balls. Hey man, check this music out. Or like in some cases, they would have their music playing on another artist's MySpace. So then when you would get on somebody's MySpace, you just heard somebody completely different. And then you heard the artist and you're like, really? You know, so it was, <laughs> it, it was, it was almost like, oh, really? <laughs> like that. I, I don't know how to, how to put it, but it's almost like barging in, Stepping on toes. you know, without you even knocking. Step yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like barging in without knocking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's what happened with MySpace. And so people got, got fed up with that. And so like now... That yeah. Facebook and Twitter, Facebook, probably, man. It's they're trying to take that same MySpace mentality, you know, to, to Facebook and to Twitter. Yeah. And that's not hot at all. You know, like you, you got to be focused on building relationships with people yeah. before you start. Hey, man, check this out. I know you don't know me, but check this out and see what you think. Yeah. Like that don't work. It, that yeah. would have worked three years ago, but that's not working now. People got it. got over that. That's 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 dead now. So yeah. now you got to hit them. It's almost like approaching a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can't be on some webby. I'm a strong arm you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, you gotta, drunk. you gotta talk to him. You know, introduce yourself. Hey, what's up? You know, and then, then ask him. Yeah. You know, you mind checking it out? You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. So, 
You know, I'm, I'm about I'm about that. Yeah. As opposed to the whole MySpace. Yeah. Hey man, check this out, man. I'm the hottest in the city. That's another thing that makes me upset too. Like, and I don't want to come off sound like a bad rapper, but if, if you if you always gotta constantly stress to me how you like you're the hottest, you're the best, then you're not the hottest of the best. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like other people would probably tell you that. Yeah. Other but, people would tell me that. Well, I said, well, see, that's the thing. Like, like, like when I do it on this show, I'm doing it because I have a huge ego and I'm a total a hole. But when, when when the rappers do it, it yeah, it, it's 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 you're, you're telling people if you've got to tell people that, that that's like uh, Cox Communications commercials back in the day where they were like, oh, we're kicking AT and T's ass. If you got to tell me, well, you're probably not. You're probably not. Doing it. <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> so, like if your buzz is so crazy and you say, Man, I got the biggest buzz in the city, you don't have the biggest buzz in the city. That that's a red flag to me, like okay. Yeah. They didn't get the buzz, like, like we got the buzz. Especially if I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have a buzz, then I should probably know because out of all the people that keeps their ears to the street, it's me. You know what I'm saying? So if I don't know about you, you you ain't buzzing. Yeah. You know, so that's another thing. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just don't take all my artists out there. Don't take that mentality to Twitter and start, you know, hitting people on Twitter because I've gotten those things where I'm not even, I don't even think of following me, but they just see that I'm posting something, and so they'll be like, "Hey man, yeah, you know, know, check, check this out." Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time. Like you know, people, people don't have, people don't have time really to just listen to a whole lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Right, like, hey, no, hello, how are you doing? Like, it's just, hey, man, check this out, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. I see, I see you like, uh, I see you like hip hop. So, yo, check this out. Like, I see you I like hip hop. Well, apparently, you don't know who I am. <laughs> so you can't, you can't do that. With me. Not, not on Facebook, not on Twitter. I mean, you can still do that on MySpace. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let, let, let's talk about the, uh, the refreshing. The refreshing, yes. Uh, Lay down is actually going to be. First thing off for that, but Refreshing is really just a street album. Um, it's sort of like a setup for the official album, Best Kept Secret, EKS, um, which we are releasing in 2010, I know. Um, but that, uh, the Refreshing is, is sort of like a double meaning. It's a playoff of uh, the recession. Yeah. And it's, you know, it, it, it's almost like, you're in a, have you ever been in a room where like it just smells terribly bad? really want to leave, yeah. you know, I want that fresh air, <laughs> that's, that's what the CD is, like, the hip hop game, the hip hop game to me is like a it. very smelly <laughs> rock locker room, like a very <laughs> smelly locker room, that's what, that's what hip hop, that's what hip hop is like to me right now, and so, <laughs> so like, man, I feel like the CD that I'm going to give is like, you know, the fresh, fresh air, air. Fresh air, yeah. where you can just you can just inhale it, you can exhale it, you can feel good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So I'm dropping that August 23rd. We do have a date for that. That is concrete. August 23rd. Um, really fresh. Air. So it's going to be uh, good. It's not it's not going to be a mixtape mixtape. Um, you know, it's just going to be. Is that is that the mixtape where you're having uh, all all the different former mayors of Salon? No, that's um, <laughs> no, that's he's the DJ. I'm the mayor. Oh, that makes okay. it coming soon. Uh, keep scratch, let me slide. Um, we're gonna release that. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, that's a key question. But as soon as uh, yeah. he gets the scratches in and all that stuff, yeah. But the drops. Oh yeah, the drops are crazy. I got the former mayor of Salina, um, Lucy Larson. She on there. Um, she on. So I, I mean, I got this. It, it's, you ought to listen for the drops alone. I got crazy, I got crazy drops. Got Alan Jill going, but no, yeah, he's the DJ. I'm the mayor. That's coming soon. Uh, when, whenever we figure that out, then you know everybody that's on my Facebook, on the Got Cash Facebook group too, y'all probably be the first ones to know. So. Now, uh, let's see, what was the other thing? I wanted to know? Oh, um, the. Uh I, I, I'm not calling him out. I'm just making a reference, and that is uh, H. Dickey was supposed to join us today here, here on the big show, uh -huh. and uh, obviously uh, we are in hour number three, and uh, he's nowhere to be found. So um, expound on that. I, I've set you up. I've thrown you the pitch. Uh, I'm knocked out of the uh, park. <laughs> no, no, no. This is, yeah, no. This, this isn't really just a, 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 a I think he. Uh, <laughs> 
No, I think he's on he's on daddy patrol, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, I think just the the uh, Jiggy and I were just talking about uh, the three things that I've been do and I yeah. decided to interject with the fourth one. To be professional. Yeah. Be professional. Like if you if you can't do something, um, if you can't make a show, if you can't make a if you can't do something. Yeah. Or have the common courtesy to call ahead of time, even if you think they're gonna be mad at you or they're gonna yell at you, curse you out, just do it anyway because that's more respectful. They'll have more respect for you at the end of the day than if you just don't say anything and then they see you somewhere in the club or something two weeks later and then you just hit them up like like nothing happened. Like, hey man, so when we wanna get together, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm supposed to be like fools. So, I hate to interrupt you, Cash, but this, apparently someone is uh, calling my cell phone. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, shit, what has happened? They got you again for speeding? <laughs> Apparently, uh, <laughs> okay, brother. Well, uh, s- send me the speedy tickets, and we'll see what we can do about it. Well, we'll have Ninja Larry get into the Jiggy Jag account and send your speedy tickets. Uh, okay, brother. Well, hey, uh, it's hard to hear that, brother. <laughs> okay, bro, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, like. <laughs> oh, the police are bored today, my friends. <laughs> that, 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 or there's some people that are speeding. I don't know which. I don't know. Cash, you, 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 you never. This is the one thing I think is great about you, brother. Is that you never have any trouble. You're the one hip hop guy that has no trouble with the law. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I mean, you know, I, I stay, I try to stay clear from the law. Um, you know, they, uh, I guess it's cool. I see him in his piece. Uh, but, yeah, I try to stay away from that. I'm a big fan of the whole tail thing. Yeah. Uh, so, tail is not sexy to me. So, yeah, I don't do that. Uh, brother, well, hey, uh, the, uh, <laughs> Uh, anything else you want to mention? Any other shows? Any? No, I think that's um. Going on? Man, I just go to the um. Go yeah, go to Griffin. That's one. If you if you in Salina, if you around Salina Thursday, um, June tenth, um, around eight o'clock, be there seven thirty. The moment y'all see me, come across the stage. Um, I'm sandwiched in between a country group, I think, and a rock. Always, always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do but, that. Like, I'm sandwiched in between them, so like the moment I forget who's coming up before I think it's split decision. The moment split decision is <laughs> off the stage. I need mean, everybody, on. all my people, just to come and rush to the stage and just rock with it. Just for 15 minutes. That's all I want. 15 minutes of your time. Just come rock with it. Just 15 minutes of your time. And that's uh, great. yeah, so that that's the main thing. And then just. Uh, you know, Cypher Show episode 5 coming in, I think, uh, two, two weeks. Featuring two Cage Pull of Nito. Full of Nito. Oh, well. <laughs> this guy. I never even, I never even <laughs> meet him. I didn't, I didn't even meet him prior to the show. But, like, take me. Um, Nito just hit me in the side, like, while he was rapping. He's like, yo, I got this. Yo, I got this. I'm going to spit in the open cycle. Okay. That's an open cycle. So he comes through and just starts unleashing this barrage of S words. <laughs> wow! Like I like we all because we didn't know who he was. He just came in and just owned the site. My man! And it was like, good <laughs> lord! And it, and it had already it had already been fresh. Like the first cipher with bloody hands and stick finger, which, which y'all gonna see. Oh stick yeah! Finger and Chris Barnett was crazy. You oh know, yeah! Rebel on um, A squared and uh, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting. It was the six person. Great. Rubble on a squared.com. Yes. That was crazy. 
So, you know, the open cypher, it was like, all right, yeah, it's cool. And then he just comes out and just goes in. Oh, he's just going to be like, like that guy just... Man, it's not, really not, 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 um, as far as taping it, but we'll be back. Um, we'll be alternating with which to the lineup. Um, and possibly doing like a Cypher Show tour for like one month. A Cypher Show tour. Saturday. What are you, American? Are you, are you trying to get into American Idol territory now? <laughs> We're going to do a tour. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I mean, the buzz is, the buzz is crazy from the Cypher Show. And, and, and again, shout out to ICT Hip Hop and Flash Bandit and all the people who are um, supporting it, watching it. And, oh, like, yeah. The buzz is crazy. Like, Lawrence heard it, K, uh, KC. Casey Moe is, is really Pakistan a show. They want to do the type of show there too. So we're um we're just getting it together. Good luck, okay. Thank you. All so, those guys. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to also they're they're not listening to so them. But shout out to Ken, uh, King Ray and uh, Bill Renson. They're actually the ones that sort of came up with the idea of the type of show. Uh, the regular type of show. The original one is actually in Detroit. Um, a lot of Bob's classic kicks down there on Woodward. Um, they're the originators of the side of the show. Uh, King, King Ray is my dude. That's like one of my mentors. And so the um, funny thing about it was that I was I had this idea of doing something similar to a cypher. Um, a cypher just taping the cypher. Like that was the show. Wow. And, um, you know, wow. Yeah, like I have conversations like, and oh yeah. Some of y'all rappers need mentors. That's another thing. <laughs> like, y'all just need somebody. <laughs> is just that's, that's real. Like, y'all need mentors. Y'all need somebody to talk to. Y'all need uh, people that are smart. I, to me, I hang out with people that are smarter than me or are smarter than me. You know, if I hang out with dumb people, it's, it's, it's because I'm trying to get y'all to be smarter than me. You know what I'm that's why he's buddies <laughs> with us, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, and, and I'm done talking after this, but like, okay. my dude Ray um, is really one of my mentors, and, and you know we talk, you know probably like once or twice a week, just to bounce ideas off each other, you know, because he's a marketing guy, I'm a marketing guy. Oh yeah. And um, so I had this idea for like the soul jazz thing, and uh, he did and he had something like that. So I gave him my concepts, and in turn, he let me get the concept for the Cypher Show. So really, the Cypher Show is technically called the Cypher Show Midwest. But um, yeah, the Cypher Show is basically his brainchild, uh, Rinsen's brainchild, people Bob's Classic Kicks. Love y'all, man, for doing that. And, 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 and he, and, 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 and I'm sure T.Y. or something here. Well, before I let you go, I have to have your free stop. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I, I guess since since I've often called Cash the Jay Z of the Midwest, I guess we'll uh, throw a Jay Z beat at you. Uh, <laughs> oh Lord! Uh, Ninety nine problems with my rhymes ain't one. Nope. Let me see. All right. Shout out to the girls in the worldwide. Yes, I'm serious, sort of like cancer. You want to know who the best is, you know the answer. I don't really freestyle that much because I got time to do that. I don't really know what I'm saying, but I got to get back on my words. And I'll really be playing with this in my C so eloquently when I spit. That's how I do it, man. It's no book. <laughs> now, see, I can't cuss, but I'm the bull pit. I'll rhyme this stuff. Uh, Every time I get down, I'm busting the mics so eloquently And yo, when I write, it's just sort of like a lethal injection I kill you every time it's murder, heard of me Then you better go to cashhollister.com for all the music and 
lights up that you see on site for show and move the crowd. I do it loud because I'm the mayor of the city doing it right now at the Jiggy Jam show. It's going down. My man, Larry Trick, he known as a ninja. Check <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm done. I really want to Why? Why? I get my free stuff. Hey. Y'all just, y'all just gonna have to, uh, y'all gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> well, hey, hey brother, I, I appreciate you making the time for us. Thanks for, uh, lay, you know, uh, not not a uh, not, not, not 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 a pun here, but laying it down and uh, and, and and letting these uh, letting these cats know, hey, you got to step your game. Yes, all the way, all the way. And I practice what I preach too, because as soon as I, I leave here, I'm gonna learn how to freestyle again. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what's I appreciate it. Definitely, brother. Well, we're gonna take a quick little time out, and we've got the uh, big announcement from uh, my man from the D- the real hood wide here, and uh, I'm just gonna get the hell out of the way and, and let the uh, let, let the people with the cool voices talk. We'll be back here on World Famous GK Worship. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Amen. You said that's going to be on when the show? The show should be on in like two weeks. Okay. Because we've been doing it every Well, it is the world. Um, Twitter.com slash Jiggy Jaguar. Also, JiggyJaguar.com, as I said, JiggyJakeTV.com, by the way, for the latest and the greatest on Jiggy Jake TV. Uh, my man Jojo over at the After Five Computer Guy is trying to put together a uh, brand new GeekJaguar.com, which will have our uh, videos and all that stuff up there integrated. So uh, we're looking forward to it, and uh, we're getting it going. Well, speaking of getting it going... <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, brother. Uh... First of all, we're talking about having people step their game up. All the way up. <laughs> Not a little bit. All the way. <laughs> now, uh, t- tell me about this. Uh, first of all, before we get into this idea that you have, that uh, is, is going to be just fabulous. Um, let me, uh, let's see, let me find this one thing. Uh, give give me some information on uh, some of the stuff you have planned, possibly. Uh, give give us some clues as as, as to you're, you're you're looking to basically okay. blow the doors off the Midwest scene. I'm about to do it again, man. Jiggy Jag Jamboree, man. Everything, you know what it is, man. This big case for me, you know, the, the real hood wild boss, man. We about to have. It. It's not no cypher show or no shit like that. You just got to yeah. come with them bars. I'm talking about 16, it got to be the hottest 16. You know what I mean? If it's not hot, I'm going to let you know about the shit. If it's whack, it's whack. So don't come to the Jiggy Jag Jamboree with that whack bullshit or we're going to tell you about it. Trust me. <laughs> got to be some snapping going on. I'm talking about 16 bars or something that's going to make my ears bleed. If it's not that, just stay where you're at. Junction, Wichita, Kansas City, St. Louis. I don't care where you're coming from. Stay at home with that bullshit. Come up here and be ready to spit some real, real lyrics, man. If not, you'll be getting kicked off 2nd Street. <laughs> and that's how you're going to go. Oh, <laughs> what is this? My Apparently somebody, want, maybe they're wanting to apply to the... Uh, Hey, what's up, yo? Uh, maybe. Uh, give give me a holler after the show's over with, brother. We're uh, we're we're, we're we, we got uh, we got my man Case here, so uh, give me a holler here in a few. Uh, uh, let's go for that. Uh, play. Of course, our head of security, Jerry Gamble Steele, always has to make an appearance on the show every week. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, th- w- w- we were talking that this, this is not like uh, the Cypher show where yeah. Cash brings in rappers and they just get to do their thing. No, no this is this is a competition. This, this, competition. this is where guys have to show up and we literally step up. their game up. And if they don't, you and a, me and a panel of judges are going to be like, 
F these ends, as they say. Well, and <laughs> exactly. Get them up out of here. That's what we're going to tell them. It's flat out. It's simple as that. You know what I mean? We're going to try to um, get some, some real life, real entertainers <laughs> up here. You know what I mean? Some of them, the real people up here, man. We're going we to make it crack. Like eggs. Trust me, I'm a Jiggy Jag Jamboree. That's every week, man. For you squares that don't know who Jimmy Jaguar is, y'all better Google that shit. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, all that shit. Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> yeah. You know, we don't even fuck with none of that. We keep it straight in the streets. You know what I mean? So we don't even know nothing about no Twitter. And, you know, I'm on Facebook, though. Facebook, you know. Yeah. You're all over Facebook. All over Facebook. Uh, all over your bitch face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, okay. Yeah, bring now, those bars to the competition, and we got cash prizes every month for the best sixteen, and that's as simple as that. So it's the Jiggy Jag Jamboree with Case Villanino, and we are gonna make it crack, man. It's going down. Now, uh, now, 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 this th this thing is, uh, you know, you're 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 gonna, you know. They, they, they pretty much have to bring it. They, they have to bring Man, it. You, gotta bring it. it like, you like can't be fucking around. Or something. You gotta bring that shit like eight miles. That's all I'm telling you right now. This is a competition at the end of the day. It's still a competition. So I want to hear it. You it's, gotta impress me. And I'm real. I'm the Black Simon. That's what Jimmy Jack <laughs> The Black Simon. Right. So, <laughs> That's you know, right. We, you. I, we want to make you cry and shit when you, when you finish. I'm gonna tell you this shit, whack. I want you to start crying and get up out of here. Basically, it's <laughs> only weak. And you shouldn't even came that far with that bullshit. <laughs> and it's simple as that. <laughs> now, uh, you you have um, connections all over the fucking United States. You know it. You're bringing in. You're, you're basically putting out the challenge. Come here, bring your best shit, and if not. Get the fuck, man. <laughs> Get the fuck out. all out of here. Get out. I mean, I want to see some, I want to just see some real creativity, man. It, no bullshit. You can come in here with some bullshit if you want to, but I want to see some creativity shit, man. I don't want to see no, you know, um, no bullshit, man. It's yeah. real ass shit, you know what I mean? It can keep straight streets. It can be just metaphors. I don't care what it is. We're going to judge at the end of the month, but... The shit better be hot, man. I'm gonna let you know it ain't flat out. I ain't sugarcoating shit. Now, uh, you, you also were talking before we jumped on the air about having uh, a Jiggy Jag best titty contest. Oh yeah, we gonna have that too, jump on, you know what I mean? So if you got some big ass titties, come on down. Oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, this Twitter Jiggy Jag and. They show them the titties and we're gonna bring bring you down to the uh, station. Twitter.com slash Jiggy Jack. Show me hey, the titties. Show them titties. <laughs> Slow it down. Look at the best titties, we got some for ya. Hey, and matter of fact, matter of fact, it's not even a titty contest, it's a nipple contest. So you can have no titties with some long ass nipples. <laughs> we want to see them. We want to see them. <laughs> And that's gonna be that's gonna be cash prizes in that too. This, this, all bullshit aside, it's gonna be cash prizes in that too. So, you know, the double D's can get you some double money. <laughs> now, uh, you, you're also talking about maybe getting me an energy drink. <laughs> Jiggy Jack juice, everything. We're gonna do a Jiggy Jack 2011, 2012. It's the Jiggy Jack year, and we're gonna make it crack. You know what I mean? <laughs> we gonna make it crack. We got Jiggy Jag juice coming out. We got um oh Jiggy Jag jugs. That's what we gonna call it. Jiggy Jag jugs. So you bring them jugs on over here, and we gonna um, you bring them jugs, <laughs> bring them jugs <laughs> on over here. <laughs> bring them jugs on down to Jiggy Jag, and we gonna um we gonna judge them. We gonna judge down to Jiggy. Jags and we gonna judge them. We gonna judge the judge. See all those Jags? They, that's juicy. They gotta be juicy. <laughs> oh my God! How are you? It's gonna go down. Uh, uh, apparently, you. Uh... This is the new Howard Stern show right here. We getting ass titties 
we're gonna have, we, you know what? We're not gonna even let you know everything right this second because these is all ideas that's just coming to me right now. So fuck with me. One minute it'll be good. <laughs> Trust me. Now, uh, uh, we, 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 we've got the, the video up on the internet of Nut the Kid about doing a freestyle. And basically, after you watch that, step your game up. Man. It's gonna be a lot of y'all that don't even. When you see that, you're not even going to come to this motherfucker. It's Salina. I'm not going nowhere close to there. There's not the kid there. I'm not going there because that nigga came and he spit some real fire. So y'all listen to that and then step your game up. I don't. You gonna put it on? Oh, we're we're gonna. We, okay, so let, 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 gonna let, see let, let, let me try to find kid, this kid, nigga. Because... It's New Orleans, nigga. Y'all know who it is, nigga. He ain't playing. Because I'll tell you, not he is uh... the kid. He That's is, my man's right here. He is not fucking around. He ain't fucking around. He ain't, uh, he ain't, he ain't getting, the, you know. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see if I can pull this up. Well, I'm going to Google Nut the Kid, man. YouTube that shit, man. That nigga is high powered, man. It ain't going to stop, man. Here we go. Look at this shit.
<laughs> now, uh, the, uh, uh, I'll tell you, it's like Nut the Kid was, I felt like watching that rap, he was eventually going to stop, and then it was like he just kept off. Yeah, that's how He just picked it. up more steam. He, he yeah. wanted to call this out of her in the studio freestyling. That boy was Watch dangerous, man. He was dangerous. Watch out, I take a small time to like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That accent, man. Nut the Kid, he was one of the coldest I ever heard. Yeah, he really was. He said, we're not in Kansas anymore. That's what Nut the Kid, Kid got in store. What'd he say? <laughs> what else he say? He said, we're not in Kansas anymore. That's what Kid, Kid, the wizard got in store. Nut the Katrina got in store. Well, the Selena. You know like I'm out the nine, so I ride with the millimeter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see. Ah, ah. They, see, you got to step the game up, man. <laughs> it's going to be some real live spitters right here on the Jiggy Jag Show, man. Jesus. Trust what I'm saying. This. Trust what I'm saying. Even Ninja Larry is going to be spitting bars, so you really got to step this shit up. We got, damn, I'm not playing. There's some shit in here and you're going to be like, damn, you're going to have to rewind it. You're going to have to rewind it and see what's going on. you got to have to rewind it, brother. brother. I love it. Thank now, you. uh, you, you've brought with you, uh, I've, I've, I've been hearing tales about this about this guy. Yeah. All right, is, is he going to be able to freestyle? Yeah, that's some tools right there. He got more bars than a prison cell. <laughs> Trust me. He's got more bars than the prison cell. Let him get on up here and do his thing right here. This is the first Jimmy, I mean Jiggy. Whatever. I was going to say Jimmy. That's something like Jimmy Iveen or somebody, but that's a fucking name. <laughs> Jimmy Iveen. You know who that is. But this is Jiggy Jack Jamboree right here. First episode, y'all check it out. This Young Tunes right here. Oh, here we go. My man Tombs in the building. Yeah, what's up? What are you what's doing, up? brother? <laughs> oh, let's see what we can let's see what we can find here for you. But but but, but before we do this, uh, I had my boy Rebel Un send me a uh, a, a quick little drop, and uh, then I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. So here it is on the World Fucking Sheep Jay Rush. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That shit hot. That shit hot. Well, what, 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 what do you guys think of that shit? We love it, we love it. <laughs> that shit sick. That was nice, that was nice. He even mentioned Ninja Larry, I love it. <laughs> he even mentioned Ninja Larry, I love it. <laughs> Can I quote you on that, Case? <laughs> now, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw a beat at your brother and just do what you do, man. Here we go. And the world famous Jiggy Jig White shit. Jag Jamboree is going to go all the way down, man. It's Big Case Pulling Nino. That was your boy Young Tunes right there. Yeah. That was the first. I'm going to call him a victim. 
That was the first victim of the Jiggy Jag Jamboree right there. Do we have any challengers? If so, <laughs> hit up Jiggy J. Y'all know what it is, man. Big case for the First, the first real jamboree. And y'all heard what he said. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. So when you hear it, go to the drawing board. Write up your little shit. Hit us up. You know how to get in touch. And we will be right here waiting on you to come to the next show. And it's next Sunday. So it's a game up. Step it up all the way. Swing on in, folks. You heard it's on. the kid. You heard Young Tunes. Now what you gonna do? Huh? At the Jiggy Jag Jamboree, we gonna do a gigantic. Come on down. Check us out. Win this money, man. We trying to give it away. That's all we trying to do is give you some money. So <laughs> we just trying to give you some money. That's we just trying to give you some money. So if you think you're hot enough, man, hit us up, man, and it's gonna go down right here. Every Sunday. Check it out. Oh, it's coming down, brother. Well, hey, uh, I, I apologize to our station for going over, but we just had to. Because this was a big announcement. This was a big announcement. The big stars in the building. Yeah. He was, you know, I'm, I'm surprised firearms didn't fucking go off because I'll tell you, he was spitting some smoke at it. Hey, yeah. You better step it up, man. <laughs> you better step it all the way up. That was only a 16. You know what I'm saying? If, if it was me, I would write like 50 bars for me. Because when you come down and you just spit 16, I'm going to say, okay, he spit 16. But what if he just spit 32? Step your game up, man. I don't know what you're going to do. But you got to do something quick. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you, Jiggy. They got to do something quick. Because they better. Go they got five days, seven, six days. They got six more days, and guess what? <laughs> it's going to be somebody else, probably from Nebraska, probably from Iowa. Little white boy, you don't even never know. But <laughs> Fucking shit, he gonna come in here and spit like Eminem. You better step it up. And he gonna take that money. He gonna take the money. He better step it up, man. He gonna come in and rock. Hey, we'll be back. Now, uh, before I let you go, brother, I, you, you said you were gonna try to pull out a, a rap about me at the fucking Blue Goat. Oh, man. We gotta save that, because that's really... That's on my song, one of my songs, the microwave. Okay, TV. let's go for it. So I don't got the beat right now, but we're gonna we're gonna put we'll that out. We'll go for it. We're gonna put that out. Well we'll let will everybody fucking step the game up. Yeah, they better step their game up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even in the contest. You know what I mean? Not this time. You know what I mean? I'm now, judging uh, the contest now. So uh, you, you got you got you as a judge. Uh you, you know what we need and uh you know, it's 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 just something we've been trying to do for a while. We need to get some perv magnets down here. We need to get some hotties hanging we're out. Some, we're gonna get some real. We don't call them hotties. We call them hoes. <laughs> oh, get some hoes, whatever. Stuff, you know what I mean? But we're gonna have some some real boppers down here. <laughs> we're gonna get some real boppers this every week. They're gonna just be down here just twerking while y'all freestyling or whatever y'all are doing. Written. I don't care what it is. Just bring me some lyrics. I don't care if it's a damn poem. If it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> it's a damn problem. If it's hot, it's hot, man. So bring it on. Now, uh, what, 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 what did you think of that, that dude rapping in French and English? F.A. F.A. Wow. Yeah, he, he one of the hottest I've heard with that bilingual shit. Nigga, keep that up. And we could have do some tracks with him anyway. We got his number. <laughs> Trust me, we got his number. <laughs> We're going to make that French connection. Yeah. <laughs> the French connection. Hell yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, you guys, you guys have been, you guys are well respected in the in the rap game around this area and everything. For sure. uh, I'm assuming you're going to echo everything Cash pretty much said about how you got to get, you got to, you got to get it together, man. Yeah, it's all about just getting it together, networking, and just doing a lot of footwork, man, and meeting everybody. I'm talking about even the little late, old lady right there pushing the shopping cart. You know, she a potential buyer of one of those CDs you put in the Everybody. You know, pitch everybody. You got to pitch everybody. Little kids got money these days. They buy CDs. Little kids got money these days. Hey, we want it all. We want it all, man. Now, uh, let's run it down. We got, we got, a, we got a couple minutes left. Next week, they need to step the game up. Hey, we're going to have three more rappers up here next week. This is going to be a nice show next week, man, because this, this was the first one. So the next one, you know, got to be 
better than the first one. No. Just, just stay with us, man. Jiggy Jag Jamboree every week. Be with us, man. It's gonna be lovely. This, this, Your this. lyrics is tight. Come fuck with us, man. This, this is gonna be. This is gonna be live and entertaining and kick ass, and we're getting it rolling. Definitely. Byob. <laughs> <laughs> Especially this motherfucker. <laughs> for real. Well, uh, brother, I appreciate you making some time for us. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, thanks for bringing the talent, too. Oh, man, it's going down. Young Tunes. Jesus Christ. Young Tunes, the first one on the Cypher show. He did a Cypher show. I keep calling it that because that just sounds so good. <laughs> that, 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 that name of that came from my state. I used to watch the Cypher show in Detroit, so I'm just glad Cash... Brought it all the way out here, you know what I mean? That was big business right there. Good looking. Well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here uh, next week on the world famous Chicken Jigway you show. Uh, you know, ton, tons of tons of tons of great stuff, including yes, the debut of the what is it? Chicken Jag Jamboree. <laughs> next week. It'll be hour number three in a world famous Chicky Jake White You Show, and we will see you next week here. Peace, and a mighty 5,000. That works. Yeah.